Oh, hello, hello, and welcome to my stream, guys. So, glad to actually jump in. Sorry I wasn't here on Monday. I was feeling a little sick. I'm going to be jumping into Star Sector with the 0.97A update. No mods, not one. Not even the quality of life mods that a lot of people actually recommend. No mods. No mods. And with that, let's get things started. All right. So in terms of who we're going to be, I, I want to select the... Oh, right. That was modded. That was modded. Uh, let's choose... Ooh, Tritech. This Tritech guy. Do another laser guana. There. No iron mode. Actually... Ah, eh, screw it. Let's do iron. Let's see if I really embarrass myself on stream here. Doing this shit. Mixed. Normal. Of course, sir, because why the fuck? Captain. It's Captain now. Vladek Walker? Vladek Brother? Oh, I see. Walker. Okay. I see. That's just what it would be. Alright. Alright. And then... Continuing on. I always start with the exploration, so... Let's see. Let's do the faster start. And this is going to be a shorter stream, guys. I'm probably not going to do any more than four to four to five hours. Because uh, I got lots to do. But. It's going to be a thrilling ride, I promise you. Alright. Gain 20,000. 2,000, rather. 2,000. Alright. Let's do this one. An explorer leading a salvage expedition from aboard an Apogee-class cruiser. I mean, we could always just do, like, one of these, and that would be kind of neat, but that's... No. No, let's, let's do the, the faster start. Randomized. Okay. Well, let's see. What, what is randomized? A randomized collection of ships, slightly weaker overall than either of the faster start options, but roughly in the same category. Hmm. Nah. No. No. We're doing exploration right off the bat. So, let's just do that. And again, another 18,000 Apogee class cruiser. A Condor class light carrier. A Wayfair class combat freighter. Shepherd class drone tender. And a Dram class tanker. Normal. Because we're not pussies. And... Okay, we could start with the tutorial to, uh... Well, get some extra relations with the hegemony. So we're gonna just go to that option there. Because, yeah. And then to start off, gonna be salvaging. So we're gonna be salvagers. We can always um, respec later if we want to do something different. Mm. Yep. Just make that easier on us. And. With that, start the game. Game start. That's awesome. Okay. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Yep, and then march. And right off the bat, save. All right. And we're not gonna fuck the pirates. We do have, we have no reason no reason to worry about the pirates. No reason whatsoever. We do want to start the story missions though with Glacia, but first we need to make some money. 50,000. How did we get 50,000? Alright, because of the stipend. Wearing fine Luddick... Ooh, approach the pilgrim wearing fine Luddick robes. Blessed day. Blessed day, Captain, I presume. He says... I wish to arrange transport for myself and my party to the Shrine of Gleed in the Canaan system. I, of course, provide payment. I can, of course, provide payment. Would 5,000 credits be worth a journey of 8 light years? Eh, yeah, sure, why not? And 60 days to complete it. So this is going to be old school because we're not going to have the gates to take us everywhere like before. we got to earn that. But... Don't show this again. Dismiss. Okay. Alright. Let's 
see what kind of ships they might have for sale. Nah, right off the bat. Okay. But we can buy some extra... Okay, don't show this again. Don't show this again. Jesus Christ. I deselected it. That was my bad. Alright. Alright. The best thing we can do right now is just load up. Let's load up and we have enough people. So. Uh, there's the pirates. We gotta be a little bit careful. This is iron. We're, we're doing iron. So. The only thing we have to worry about is... Only thing we have to worry about is, uh, well... Uh, everything. Actually, everything. We gotta get some story point points as soon as possible, in fact. Action with, with a perfect posture. A concerned man. Minutes. That's going to go over here to Galid. We're going to go to Galid anyway. So, let's do that. But we do have to make some room. Alright, I, I need 100 minutes of supplies as soon as possible. It's very important. Except, and I will actually get that to you. There we go. There we go. Because we need to make some room anyway. Okay, now we just have enough. Let's go to Galid. That's the only thing we need to do right now. Alright. There we go. And hopefully we won't run into pirates. Alright. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty relaxing, I think. Uh, don't shoot this again. Let's just accept every mission that comes our way. And this is going to take us... No, four days. Fuck that, man. Fuck yeah, man. Is what I meant to say. Just pure, unadulterated... Star Sector. We're going to do Nexerlin next, but... Uh, we're going to do just ordinary... Yep, yep. Okay, and Irradiated World. They take minimal investment, and you can actually do a lot of them. The exploration missions. Alright, and... There we go. To Gad. Did we... Yep, yeah, okay. Never mind. We gotta remember to... Ah, oh, okay, another gate. Good. Awesome. It's been a while since I've done this, man. Done just ordinary Star Sector. It's the way I just started playing this game. Pretty awesome, I gotta say, man. Pretty awesome. Alright. Hopefully we get a story point soon. Okay. Got that. Alright. Take a shuttle down. You take a... Yeah, take a shuttle down. To visit. Right. You take the shuttle down to the main concourse and quickly find a likely-looking establishment. You duck past... You duck past... Notices... Encouraging temperance and restraint as you enter the bar. Someone is playing a stringed instrument in an, in an alcove. A row of hand-worked samovars suggest that tea is served as often as the wreck grained brew weak grain brew favored by crew of rough looking laborers at the bar many of the patrons at tables or booths seem to be off-worlders or local unbelievers huddling in the closest analog to a den of sin that can't be found the clink of teacups is suddenly overcome by a shout and a crash demon servant of Moloch follower of Mammon Mammon yeah. Um, a disheveled figure with a scraggly beard leaps on a table, leveling a pistol towards you. 
I walk the path. Strike at you with the hammer of... And you get down. I got, I'm gonna get down. A series of dull crack signals your guard suppressed low suppre penetration fire and the assassin falls like a rag doll. The samovar behind him, indented by a through shot, leaks a steady patter of tea into a growing pool of blood on the table. Get back up. Local Munisec holds you, your guards, and a few witnesses until a mid-rank Knight of Lud can make a ruling on the situation. The case for self-defense is clear-cut. Witnesses swear holy oaths to this, and the, lic the licensing of your protective weapons is accepted. A child, led astray, the knight says gruffly, as the would-be assassin is wrapped in a simple shroud and taken away. Their eyes turn to you. Your pride sows wrath, and it bears this bloody fruit. After a pointed silence, they say, You and yours, go now. What's here is done. So I pray. The knight mutters as you turn away. That's not great. Okay. This provides you with time to contemplate the face of Gilead, its continents, once fringed only by alien algae equivalents, algae equivalents, receded by Earth life by a far roving spore ship of the second wave of human expansion. The El the Iridani Utopia for terraforming megacorp followed and its vast machines stabilized the climate and ecological processes. Lud came then, pulled down the machines, and the believers who followed maintained the world as a garden wilderness of astounding richness. Truly, it is a gem of the Persian sector. Your shuttle receives a ping from traffic control, permission to descend. All right, this is the shrine. Oops, okay. The landing bay, one of a score or so, allocated to outsiders, is packed with parties of Luddic pil pilgrims, dressed in traditional hand-weave lead by robed attendants. One should story, stony-faced attendant, meets your shuttle, shuttle on the pad, wasting no time, firmly but politely inquires about your business here. Who is the shrine? The attendant nods, explaining that you must leave your guards behind, because this is a place of peace, and all are equal on the pilgrim's path. The request is an implied request for keeping up appearances. A couple of your guards, unarmed and trained for situations requiring this degree of subtlety, attend to your safety, as per a matter of course. Your note, you note, other unusually small parties of pilgrims, plainly but clearly wealthy by their cut and carriage, led by their own shrine attendants, and accompanied by unusually muscled, distant cousins. Nonetheless, the crowd filling out the transport complex on a wide highway of beaten earth and cobble are enormous. Those who cannot walk are carried. No power transport is provided. Walk the path. The path of the pilgrims leads up to a slope covered in trees, more enormous than any you've ever seen before. Though small in scale compared to the celestial phenomena that is your daily bread, their living architecture forms a natural cathedral. Dispassionate Knights of Lud watches attendant shuttle. Yeah. Dispassionate Knights of Lud watches uh, attendant shuttle you through a cordoned path in an arc through a final grove of mighty sequoia analogs atop the prominent promen, promontory. I, I don't read a lot of natural language. Promontory. At the terminus of the ridge, it is a temple, struts and spars intertwined with trees. Golden sunlight filters through heavy branches, and as the breeze lifts a whispered chorus of fo foliage, you catch an earthly scent over the mass of humanity surrounding you. Approach the shrine. We're, we're going over there. You have only a brief moment before the high altar of living wood. Small tokens and offerings are piled up amongst, amongst low, cheap candles. And in a moment it passes. It is hot, 
and you are in a large and sweaty crowd full of pilgrims all wrapped up away from you, lost in their worship. The attendants do their best to herd the masses along the main pathway. You must push through groups calling and crying and singing and praying. Return to your fleet. That was pretty cool. Oh, there's a lot of things here. Uh, there's there's a lot of things here. Oh my god. Oh, there, there's so much. Okay. Uh, you return to the shaded halls of the transport complex. You notice a young novice approach you. Watching you, rather. As you accidentally meet their eyes, their smile widens. Target acquired. They approach, keen on proselytization to a spacer captain. These enthusiastic missionaries are a high or common enough affliction of space stocks, so you are not so you are not unprepared. As they first draw breath to speak, you seize the initiative and say uh, Thank you, but I'm already familiar with your religion. Your plight rebuff only kindles their pious urge to engage. So you've already heard the good news. Oh, God. The novice says eagerly, Blessed are you in the eyes of Lud, already and truly. Do you count yourself among the faithful, or has a sense of spiritual longing brought you to this shrine? Nah, I was paid to be here. No, what good is a religion that hates technology? The novice seems to brighten up at this. It's actually a misunderstanding that the teachings of Lud are anti-technological after all. They see the look on your face at the threat of another scripture reading. <clears throat> In other words, we believe the problem with advanced technology is not necessarily intrinsic. Well, some technologies are abhorrent. Planet killers. Mind interfacing crass immortality. Oh, okay, we really will not see eye to eye here. Anyway, the six industrial sins are committed when the human spirit is corrupted by technology, used without virtue. Uh, point made, they nod emphatically. You fly a spaceship, right? There are many good reasons to do this. To deliver charity, to unite families, to feed the hungry. The novice rattles off some extremely optimistic scenarios, and you're forced to concede to yourself that it's not unlikely that some of these causes have been inadvertently served in the course of your career. Silence Lee. That's a cool name. Silence Lee. Alright. As if on cue, or perhaps because they were hovering nearby the whole time, the curate of the shrine steps up to you and the novice. Ah, the blessing... Ah, the blessed faith of the young. The curate dismisses the novice with a nod, forthright and... I'm afraid, tactless. My name is Silence Lee, and I am entrusted with the care of the sh this shrine. I feel called... I feel called to personally welcome you, Captain. <laughs> I, I, I want to be rude here. It's good to finally talk to an adult. Forgive them their youth, the curate says with a sad smile. We live it, but once. It is my calling to serve the pilgrims who once came here. A pause, a pause then and also those who are not pilgrims. He looks expectantly at you, his silence asking which one are you, pilgrim or not. I'm just visiting. The curate nods. Each person finds expression of spirit in their own way. That is the beauty of the gift of consciousness. Or, he adds with a wink, it's evolution, as you may prefer. All right, you guys are warming up to me a little bit. He clears his throat and gives a practice speech. Taken together, these shrines form the Pilgrim's Path. It is not merely a linear path through space, though of course, he takes a patient tone. In secular use, the name has been given to the major shipping lanes between church and hegemony controlled volumes. Oh, well, that's kind of 
dampens the spirituality of it, doesn't it? Kind of makes it feel like it's more practical than anything else. Wh whatever. The curate continues. The pilgrim's path is a spiritual journey unique to each individual as they explore and discover their faith through their shared teachings. The only word, the holy word, gifted to us by the creator who touched the prophet Lud. The faithful are encouraged to make a pilgrimage at least once in their life. If you are able. If they are able, rather. Yeah, one could make a few credits transporting pilgrims between shrines. Yeah, I made five grand. Great. Yes, the curate says, eyeing you skeptically. I, I'm sure, he continues charitably, that charging a nominal fare for fuel, air, and food stuff would be not be wholly out of line. The faithful would not expect you to beggar yourself to provide safe transport. Here, Captain, let me upload to you the coordinates for all the known shrines of the pilgrim's path. He fumbles with a battered off-brand data pad, clearly uncomfortable with its use. Show him how to do it, Jesus. All right. After a moment, you point out the correct sequence of commands for transferring the nav data. Alright, this is the six minute. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to be rude. I'm just going to... I I don't think I'm going to do the, the Luddick thing. Maybe I'll change my mind later on, but we're not doing that right now. I'm sure this will be interesting, Curate. I will visit them. Like, I mean, I'm not going to lie. Curate Sacarilla Sacraria silently nods in acknowledgement as you take the first step on whatever path you may you might follow. Yeah, that's good. Oh, awesome. Awesome, awesome. The flight in your return shuttle is uneventful, yet you are keenly aware of the thin envelope of technology protecting you from the ravages of vacuum and radiation. Um, let's... Okay, so we know where our base is. That's good. No, we're not... No. We. I don't want some marines right now. We're, we're taking it slow right now. Okay, uh, let me see if I did that mission. Transport a small party of Luddic pilgrims to the Gleed in Canaan, the Canaan system. Well, I'm here. What the fuck? Did I miss something? I'm at Galid, right? Maybe I'm not at Galid. Nope. Oh, I have to go to the planet itself? Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. There we go. Not bad. Not bad. Perfect. Let's see if they have any goods here that I can use. Oops. Nope. Port. We do need more machines, though, for exploration missions. Alright, and since we already did the thing, let's do this. Shouldn't be too hard for us to get to one from one end to another. So we're we should be good. Nothing here that we can use. Shield conversion. No solar pa uh, no sh solar shielding, so we're not gonna be able to use that. That's that's a shame. Oh well. We're not going to be able to make it to most of these, to be honest. But what we can do is see if we can't get another tanker. Oh, oh wait. Eh, shit. Retribution. That's an interesting name. 
We'll read through these later, but we'll just do minor things first. Let's go to the other system here and see if we can't get a trade job. Might as well just snatch him. Remember, when you do exploration missions, even if you don't do them, you're not going to suffer much in terms of relation loss, so... Not a big deal. Let's just enjoy this time we have in space. The Sphinx, I don't think I can do that. Nah, I'm good. I'm good. do that here. I am going to very much miss uh, the gates that I used to use all the time. But we're not going to use much fuel to get to where we need to go. And we have a lot of supplies and our ship, it, our fleet is very, very small. The next thing I'm going to have to get though is the big, like it's going to be mandatory if I'm going to be traveling everywhere. Nope, we're going to pay attention to that now. Let's go over here. Because we could be shot out of space, and we do not have any story points. This is the first time I've been without story points in a uh, Star Sector playthrough in a while. Doesn't It's not a good feeling, man. I have nothing to cushion me against, like, some of the worst things that could happen to you at the beginning of the game. Oops. Let's hurry up before the thing... some cash, but yeah. we're just doing, it doesn't matter who who provides it to us, we're just doing missions. We're just doing missions right now. Alright. Ooh. What's with the dark music? Your fleet approaches the derelict ship ship, a derelict Tarsus class freighter drifting through space. It is heavily damaged. They're determining whether it's recoverable or not will require closer inspection. Oh, okay. Okay. I don't think we want to add more shit. Okay, it usually plays music, so I thought... Never mind. Accept, accept. If they're all... Even if we don't get a couple of them. Bloodic Pathers. Okay. Perfect. Not seeing any rifts, that's good. Actually, we wanna... For the star map, we wanna... Actually, inhabited, we do Starscape. Okay. Old school Star Sector, man. Shit. Shit. Okay, good. Because we wouldn't have any way of actually getting through. Let's just go into the clouds and hope that we don't uh, have to worry about them for much longer. Fucking pirates, man fucking pirates. I tried being friends with them once. Nexeril is probably the best uh, and other mods are probably the best at making the most use of that, but goddamn pirates, dude. They are not f no matter what you do, they're always going to take from you. No matter how good your relations are they are always going to try and steal your shit, man. I was going to send raids they're always going to think that I was going to think that you're just another sucker that they can take shit from. I tried, man. I tried so hard. I was almost at, not 100 relations, but 
you know, like in al almost close to 50 with them. And that still wasn't enough for them to actually consider us friends. Really pisses me off. Probe, and that is going to be orbiting a... Yeah. Perfect. And now we have one story point. That's good. Let's save. We have enough. We shouldn't be able to engage them. These are fucking, uh... Drone ships, after all, so... Of course, I could be wrong. Yeah, never mind. And we have an Apogee, so we should be pretty good. Ah, first fight. Good stuff. Let's probably get us another story point. I hope it gets us another story point. We need story points, man. They're like the most valuable resource you can get right at the beginning of the game. Just enough story points. Oh, boy. Alright. Oh, okay. Not bad. Alright, and... Come on. Just a few... few frigates. Drone frigates, man. Just a few drone frigates. No big deal. Perfect. Perfect. Alright. Yeah, get some shit. Maybe we'll use these light mortar. Uh, maybe later. We don't need to read that. Yeah, not bad. We could use that to get some extra cash. Over here. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Alright. Actually, we don't want to do this too much, but... Oh, hey. We need a bigger, the big, the thing we're going to invest our money in, like, first and foremost, is a big fuel tanker. Like, a bigger fuel tanker. Just a bigger fuel tanker. So that we can go from one end of the space to the other. And most of our money is going to be spent on fuel at the beginning. Man, I cannot tell you how relaxing it is to just play a game of this sort of star sector, man. No mods. No baggage. Just, oh shit! Good thing we have that story. Nope. Never mind. What the fuck was that? Oh. Whatever, man. Whatever. Alright, let's go. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. We are definitely jumping right at that. Begin salvage operations. Okay. Low-tech blueprint. Dominator. Actually, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Let's take advantage of that. And, bloody path. Sweet! I get brawlers right from the beginning. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. All right. And then this is going to be Operation Center Mod Spec. Increases uh, command point recovery rate by 250% when installed on your flag on a flagship. Okay. And bore AI cores. This is actually pretty good hauls. These are pretty good hauls, man. Okay. Unfortunately, we don't have the ability to... Yeah. Yeah, more of these. That's good. Recovery shuttles... This is casually suffered. Yeah, it's okay, I guess. Okay, good stuff. Already have some AI cores that we can use. Alright. That is actually really, really good. Because then we can actually start pawning these off to the uh, Tritech uh, Corporation. And they'll give us a lot of money for it. 
Two story points, good. Man, so relaxing, man. So fucking relaxing. Can't tell you how relaxing it is to do a playthrough like this. Just exploration and eventual capitalism. None of the uh, Nixerland mess. Acquired Galatia data core. Wait, okay, let's just perform some. Okay, you perform the ceremony. Captain, there appears to be a faint signal coming from low orbit. They pull a detailed scan of the transmission source to the primary bridge display, an orbital nav grid overlaid with icons and telemetry. The transmission is very weak. We only picked it up as the service, as the survey array ran through its calibration cycle. It looks like an automated instrument package deployed in low orbit. Power source is degraded. It's got to have been here for a while. Your sensors officer acquires the audio, audio output, a garbled loop, wailing in and out of coherence, a recorded voice. The transmitter must be damaged, but with a little work. A hint of pride enters their voice. There. Mint of the Galicia Academy, if found, I implore you to return the data core to the Academy for a reward, and a, a reward of 18,000 credits authorized by Provost Thomas Calicor, message will repeat. Your ops chief oversees a retrieval mission by the book, staging approach and scan to maximize safety in the event of environmental or technological hazards. The Selvor team is used to your chief's attention to detail and within your hour, the hour place the instrument and within the hour place the instrument package data core in an EM sealed crate. Inspect the data. Cursory inspection of your technology officer. To make this... Isn't some kind of bomb or rogue AI core. Reveals a data core package. Packed to its limit. With compressed telemetry. Streams. It's uh, a lot of data, they say. Scrolling through vast columns of numbers. What is it? Well... Your technology officer's brow furrows. Recordings. Sensor logs. Detecting them. Um, they pause the data feed. Examining some of the numbers. Some kind of... Field strength? You are beginning to get the impression that your tech officer doesn't know what this device was measuring. Uh, if you don't know, just say so. Captain. Yes, of course. Is that... Is that the hint of a blush? The reprimand is made, so you push no further. It doesn't matter what's on this data core, corrupted or not, so long as the Galatia Academy pays the credits promised for its return. You order the crate secured in the cargo hold until your fleet next finds itself in the Galatia system. Perform a survey. Came here to do a fucking job, guys. No, we're not gonna... Yeah. Anything else here? Well, we don't really have the resources to do extensive exploration, so we're just gonna... Yeah, okay. How much do we have? Okay, we have we have lots. We have lots. Alright, let's go. Actually, let's go over here. Anything on the scanners? Let's go back here, just in case it's like a mining station or something. And then we're gonna head back. Weapons cache, that's actually pretty useful. Explore. Vigilance... Mm, nah, we don't want to bring any more... Fl longbow wing blo Longbow wing blueprint. Good. We could use that. Two of them, for some reason. Alright. All right, nope. Alright, let's go. Let's just go and uh, 
do the rest of these missions. Ah, all right. Continuing on. Love that effect. I love that effect. Another survey. Maybe we'll come across something pretty cool. Alright, and then... There we go. Eh, nothing yet. Not seeing anything. Perfect. Could have gone to the closer one. That's fine. Got to start eyeballing for that, though. From survey. There we go. Lots of good, uh, good resources there. I could have gone there. Heart and jump point. Let's go to the, yeah. Let's go to these, man. On and saving, of course. We've got two story points to spend if we need to run. Or for whatever. Not a lot of weapons, though, unfortunately. We still have a lot of gas, though. So we should be able to explore at least most of this side of the sector. We're going to miss out on a lot of exploration on the other side, though. We don't have the capabilities of moving from one place, or, like, one, uh, was it, uh, one side of the sector to the other. Not, not yet, anyway. There we go. Gotten used to slipstreams now, it's all good. Perfect. Might want to fly under somebody's flag at some point. Probably Tritachion. It's always Tritachion. Oops. Yeah, Epsilon Rock. So we're in the right system. It doesn't matter. I think that's it, just around the corner there. Okay, is that it? That should be it. Yep. Not a big fleet, but can take these guys out pretty easily. Alright. Right. Some melting lasers that do awesome shit. Oh yeah, I think there's an option that we can use to limit the uh, explosion. The yeah, whatever. You know, you've guys seen the explosions in Star Sector, I gather. The ones that kind of blind you. I gotta, I gotta go to the options to actually change that pretty, pretty quick here. Right, here 
This one's going to do that. Hope I get a blueprint for Apogees. Apogees are pretty awesome. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Alright. Begin the sandwich. There we go. And three story points. Perfect. Oh, okay. Corona. We're in the Corona. That is not smart. Okay. And then we're gonna go to this one. Perfect. Over cargo. No sense in actually bothering myself with that. that, man. Jesus Christ, stop, 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 stop. Oh, perfect. A lot of automated, uh, whatever, but kind of suspicious. Usually don't encounter this many automated defense systems, like, at the start here. And that's three in a row. That's three in a row. Alright. Perfect. Go. Study. I, I don't think we're going to do that. Survey, yes! And more AIs. Excellent. We're doing really well, guys. We're doing really well. I really like this. Gotta make sure we don't uh, do anything reckless. Five. We don't care about the relations with pirates. I'm just taking whatever job we could find. And then Barren World. Let's get over here next. And yeah, let's just go straight through. Solar shielding would be actually really awesome. I would really like that. Oh, please don't tell me it's the place... Distress call at the Sea... Sea Gia star system. Don't think we're gonna go... Yeah, I don't think we're going over there. We're just going over to this place. Could we have gotten closer? Not really. Not, not, not distinctly. Perfect. Alright, leave. And no establishing a colony. We're just going to go to the next system. We should be able to make it over here. But I don't think we're, we're not, we're definitely not going to be able to make all the exploration missions we took. Just that enough of them. Just enough of them. Ah. Can't think of anything better, man. I can't think of anything better. It's smooth. Good hot drink. Sorting 
things out through space. Traveling as much as possible with a ship that you can barely afford. There you go. It's almost there. Should probably go to the core systems that, you know, refuel and maybe get a bigger ship. Ah, shit. Okay. I was gonna just go to the, like, near closer jump point, but unfortunately... Unfortunately, we did not get the opportunity. I like this new song. This is a new song since the last time I played regular uh, Star Sector. Like, unmodded Star Sector. Pretty good song. I really like it. Alright. Yeah, it's gonna happen gonna happen. Yeah, oh, well. How much did I lose? That's, that's nothing. That's nothing. Even if we were in the negatives with them, that's, that's just negative one in terms of relations. So, that's nothing. No. Right, yeah, that's, that's fair. That's fair. That is fair. Actually, we can go over here. Try to see if we can't get the last of these. Alright. Perfect. How long is it going to take us? It will be longer than... Yeah... We could probably make it. Actually, you know what? Screw it. Let's just go to Galatia. Let these things time out on their own. <sighs> and then we have to find a system... ...in Tritachion. Or a Jartachion uh, colony to give away our cores and all that shit. Space exploration at its finest. Gotta love it. Shit! Melodic Path Fleet maneuvers to prevent you from disengaging easily. It's aware of your identity due to your fleet's transponder being turned on. Gotta... Gotta remember to do that. Okay. Submit and repent. Your use of sinful technologies may be forgiven for a tithe of seven... That's... That's it? Okay. Resist. And only God's holy vacuum will show you mercy. Which is cut and... You have a chance to respond... So they didn't take a lot from me. That's actually not that bad. It's not that bad at all, man. It's not that bad at all. But still, Ludic Path has been pretty shitty to me in the past. I mean, this is a that's the typical experience of a Star Sector player, no matter what kind of game you're playing, whether it's modded or otherwise, but still. They kind of let us go, uh, get off light. Go around. Go to Galicia. 
I think this might kickstart the entire uh, uh, storyline of the game. Calicor. Okay. Right. The stark white halls of Galicia Academy Station crawl past in slow magisterial rotation. The ivory tower looms over you. Your request to the docking queue is approved. Your comms officer helpfully mutes the chirpy, automated vid feed presentation, presenting a boulderized history of the Galatia Academy in its role in providing education and research to the Persian sector, while remaining above political influence. The landing promenade is filled with modest civilian transports, a few high-end personal craft, and, at the far end, a row of freighters offloading supplies. A junior academy agent greets you in a landing lounge with promotional paraphernalia in hand. Greetings, Captain. Perhaps you are an alumni. Uh, have you considered donating to a scholarship trust with the academy? Ask about returning a data core to Provost Calicor. At the mention of Calicor, the junior agent goes suddenly pale and touches their ear, stammering something about an urgent request as they turn and leave. With a sigh, you check the public comms terminal nearby. No entry under the name Calicor. After your query, the display locks into a hegemony comsec warning. Uh-oh. You open comms to your flagship and delegate the task of finding what's going on to your comms officer. In short order, they manage to navigate the lower echelons of the gra graduate students to finally speak with someone in a position of authority. The active comms link is routed to your personal interface. Accept the comms request. Academician Elec, at your service, Captain. The Academician draws out your presumed title like you've forgotten, you've forgotten to serve him biscuits with his tea. You're certain your comms officer would have mentioned your name. I've recovered a data core. The provost authorized a reward. Oh, one of those, of course. Your secretary should have just said so. The academician pauses. But then this would have been Provost Calicor, would it, would it not? He's not the provost anymore. No, no. Alex's voice... Alex's voice deepens with practiced gravitas. Not after what happened. What happened? Alec leans back, sipping into his professional role. Slipping into his professional... God damn it. Alec leans back, slipping into his prof professorial role. God damn it. The Provost Calicor that is quite overstepped the bounds of his office, in my opinion. The hegemony agreed, cracked down rather dramatically. Oppression and tyranny ran rampant in the halls of the enlightened troopers, stomping down the corridors in our fine academy. Can you believe? Now I'm a mere specialist in planetary sciences, some would say preeminent in my field. So of course, I had nothing to do with Calicor's jump point experiments. But, he pauses, taking a moment to look up to the heavens. I had my suspicions, particularly of those among my colleagues who, would, who wouldn't hesitate to breach the ethos we uphold as members of the Academy. And that's exactly what I told the hegemony officer who interrogated me. The thick-headed brute said he'd review my list of names but per my observations, I speculate that he quite ignored my insight. It is as stars tossed in the mud, I tell you. I present the gift of knowledge and... Alec rambles away, giving you no clear answers about what happened. Instead, Academici Academician Alec seems to have a list of complaints against his colleagues. The hegemony officers who didn't cooperate with Alec's efforts to sell out his colleagues and against both the previous and current provost, neither of whom holds or held a correct appreciation for the Academy. You sigh and use your captain voice to pry a few words into a pause as Alec is finally forced to take a breath. Let us discuss the award. Oh, Alec looks at you blankly for a moment. 
I suppose there is that. Hmm. I don't recall that particular account being frozen. Have your secretary or whomever sent you the data core to the planetary department, if you would be so kind. Send the data core over. 18,000. You would and you do. Agdemetian Elec authorized release of the reward credits to you via the Bursa's office with surprising alacrity. Now here, now where were we? No, 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 we're done. Uh. Alright, stretching a little bit here. The Academy agent asks, makes a quiet request through their personal comms, then gives you a patient look. The new province is very, very busy. New administration after the, um, recent unpleasantness, you know? This could take some time. Days, weeks sometimes. You may, you may want to leave your comms ID with me and come back in the comms unit chime softly. Yes, really? I mean, yes. We'll come up immediately. The agent turns to you. Provost Biard will see you. Right now. Please follow me. You are led through a discreet secure access door to a series of passages that bypass the public concourses. A travel lift activates the ac Academy agent's presence and you step inside the agent's encouraging nod. The lift pod is wrapped by diamond matrix, though which you can see the crayon canyon-like sweep of plazas pass by, filled with crowds of students, academics, and technicians. Raising your gaze, you see the pa raising your gaze, you see the pod is approaching a tiered substructure which seems to hang over the curve of the station interior. The pod slows and you shuffle to adjust to the local grav effect field gradient. You must be near the core of the Galatia station. A guard wearing a mirrored faceplate dismisses the junior agent and ushers you to an antechamber filled with small groups waiting to meet with the provost. They have perfect hair and perfect skin unmarred by the radiation and burns that mark a spacer. Those cybernetics you can spot are consciously stylish, stylish adornments rather than crude augments. You have brought their young progeny with them. The stench of wealth and influence is palatable. Palpable, rather. Heads turn as you are led past all of them toward a set of large doors inlaid with wood that looks like real trees. You feel their glares on you, like point defense fire on heavy armor. Play it cool, eyes forward. You enter. You enter the office, and doors close silently behind you. Provost Anahita Bayard turns to acknowledge your entrance while concluding a call via her desk tablet. Ancient wooden shelves for real. Paper books gleam darkly in subdued light emanating tastefully from nowhere. The shelves are only half stocked from crates scattered around the office. A brass ori of the Galatia system adorns a plinth in the mist, midst of a seeding cluster. Parchments mounted behind the provost's desk display intimidating intellectual rankings, their seals of authenticity softly glowing. I apologize for the mess, she says, having noted your examination. I've only just moved the office. Before you speak, she raises a hand. You're not here to set up a donation. Why then? Because it very much is in my interest to know about the up-and-coming mercenary captain who is capable of reversing the unfortunate situation created by my ambitious but incautious predecessor. A pause. The institution is not devoted to purely theoretical work. She forms a cradle with her hands, as if to hold an idea as she explains it. For what use is knowledge if not to give us the power and wisdom to change the world for the better? The world? Alright. Knowledge can be also very profitable. 
Provost Biard cuts you off as you begin to speak. The question was rhetorical, Captain. She begins... She brings her hands apart. The Galicia Academy could make use of someone like you. Someone capable. Discreet. And here she pauses. A tactic for emphasis. She appears to employ often. And very well paid. I do not wish to make the same mistake as my predecessor. If one wants to work... One... If one wants work done properly, appropriate incentive must be provided. She leans back and looks to you, done speaking. For real this time? Probably. I'm interested. What do you need done? I shall put you in contact with the academician uh, Elvis Sebastian. He will be my liaison with you. You will receive a few mundane tasks for various departments of the academy so that we may build a working rapport and provide you with the funds necessary to bring your fleet up to my standards. She looks you oh, she looks over you. She looks over her spectacles at you. Most of all, I require evidence of trust. I intend to remain provost here for a long time, and productive relationships are built on trust. We will speak again before long, I'm sure. She looks out the dimmed windows of the great halls of the Galatia, Galatia Academy. You cannot imagine what we shall accomplish. She smiles now, not for you, but for herself. Yeah. Let's talk to this guy. Alright. The comms connect after a minute. Oh, hello, it's you. Your contact almost looks surprised that you're calling but manages to launch an upbeat introduction. My name is Elvis Sebastian, the new Provost, that is. Provost Bard assigned me to your li assigned me to be your liaison with the Academy. I hope you are as excited to work with me as I am to be working with you. Nice to meet you, Academician. Right, yes, um, he seems nervous to be meeting a real-life space captain. You wonder idly how, how he even got his position. Different departments within the Galatia Academy tell me what they need done. Then I coordinate with freelancers like you yourself to procure, uh, the necessary services. Oh, and I run jobs by the finance office. We have to make sure you get paid. That's very important. At any time, there may be various jobs open to you. You just have to check with me. Or sometimes there might be no jobs if they're fulfilled. They're all fulfilled. You read something on the tablet. But, um, it looks like Provost Bard wants you to have first priority. She must like you. Alright, well, what's available? He taps the data pad. Let me look and see what we lined up. And there's the various jobs. So we won't need to read through all of that. Okay. Let's see. These are just, like, missions. They have no timer. We can do them anytime. These story missions aren't super interesting. They're basically just like quests, like fetch quests, essentially. All right. We can just take them any time. There's no timer on them. Yep, no timer on them whatsoever. Ah, uh, mining station, really? God damn it. All right. Well, before we... <laughs> hey, Emerald, what's up? Good to see you again, man. Good to see you, man. How you doing, man? It's been a while since I've been in one of my streams. We won't bother with doing that. Um, we want to go to Tritachion, though. Port... No, we want to go to... There we go. Kulan. We want to go to Kulan. Uh, getting over a very long-lasting cold. Finally seems to be on its way out. Good to hear, man. Sorry to hear that you've been, uh, fighting a cold. There we go. And... How have you been doing otherwise? I've been doing a long, long stint of, uh... Oh, Sunder! Yes, we're gonna get that. Alright, excellent. And then we're gonna get a captain. 
Uh, you know what? We could just buy one of these. There you go. Still playing a lot of Final Fantasy Renaissance? Yeah, off and on. Ah, yeah, cool. Playing any other interesting games lately, because uh, for me it's been a lot of Star Sector. Hulon, I think this is the main homework. Yeah. Grab these. Make a killing. Yeah, yeah. Then gain some reputation with uh, Tritachion. Uh, Ludic Path are kind of hostile with us. We can't. We can't do that one. Um, not much. Mainly prep for D and D campaigns. I'm DMing for two separate groups and just lazing about. Yeah, fair enough, man. Fair enough. This is going to be short. I'm just doing a short stream right now because I didn't stream on Monday and I was still wondering what I was going to do. Thought I'd just do ordinary Star Sector. Ah. Because a lot of people play this game modded and I, I get it. Okay. Market. That right off the bat. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations, you just bought a new ship, okay. Let the drive field. Cash for doing that. Perfect. Alright. Well, good to see you, man. Good to see you. I hope you'll be sticking around. This is Star Sector, by the way. It's a great game. I highly recommend it. I was hoping for efficiency efficiency thing, but, uh, whatever. Buy omens. Omens are actually pretty good. Let's buy some of these. We need a couple of. We need a salvage rig because that's something we're going to be using a lot of for the salvaging. Can't say no to some omens. I think we're going to get much more than that for these. Yeah, 
Let's go over here, see if we can't buy something else. Uh, would actually be pretty cool, man. That's a yeah, that, that'd be pretty awesome. Yeah, fuck it. I'm gonna buy one of these. Not enough suitable weapons, new lot out likely an effective auto foot auto foot uses weapons from your cargo. And buy from port when docked, acquire more weapons to create better loadout. And still works. Still works for me. got everything we need here. All right. See if we can't start it. We should give him a uh, go to Ken go to Kanai in the Kumari Kana Kandem system and buy unique regenerative structural elements from Bulgan Screw Floss. Bulgan Screw Floss. Alright. A very appealing name. Let's get going. Move on. Alright. Moving on. Bulgan Screw Floss. Yep, Bulgan Screw Floss. Sounds like a name for a very uh, surly sort of halfling in a fantasy game. Right. We're getting better with the the fleet. Uh, do we want to go around? Or Let's go through. Let's go through. Let's go through. Might as well. Go to the Galatia Academy. Sounds like something that needs ointment. Sounds like something, all right. It's just weird. It's 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 a weird name. It's a pirate name. It's a name for a pirate. So I I'm guessing that's something that I could expect. Let's see what we can do here. And let's just go over to the pirates. All right, there's a gate here. We'll be able to use that later, but... Shh, spoilers. All right, and there we go, and moving forward. The vanilla game is really, really chill. Like, Star Sector Vanilla is very chill. I really like it. Ask about a certain piece of technology. Alright, we do need some money or some uh, soldiers. So, we won't be able to do that yet. Okay. In the meantime... Right here... Now we can go get some... Uh, uh, Just trying to think here. Hmm. Let's 
could do just some uh, exploration for the time being. Alright, just finish that exploration mission that I was, uh, that I took just, just now, so that should be fine. There we go. Perfect. Order. We should have lots of gas. Yeah, we have lots of gas now. And a huge tanker of gas. But what we need is another level so that I can boost my burn speed. Because uh, traveling through space like this... Kinda... No items matching selective. Okay, well, whatever then. Alright, moving forward. Moving forward. Perfect. Yeah. Distress calls. We don't answer those. Ignore them. Just ignore them. This guy's not gonna hurt us. Get some salvage. Okay. And just survey that planet and then go on to do some more exploration missions. To fund the efforts of basically what is the plot of this game, which is pretty good. It's it, it, it's not a bad plot. Not super cinematic, but it does add a lot of intrigue to what's going on in Star Sector. Or in the sector itself. Alright, and for some reason we are doing some Something I haven't done in a while, which is basically building uh, some relations with the pirates, even though we don't really need to. Uh, we don't need either of these. Oh, the Vanguard. Nah, we could just salvage these guys. Okay, you're not paid enough for distress calls yet. Or ever. Distress calls are often ambushes, to be honest with you. That's why people don't go go for them. Like, seriously, you just get ambushed by a bunch of pirates, and it just sucks, man. It just sucks. Alright, let's just keep going. It just sucks. Pirates are not very strong. They are just awful, awful people, but they're not very strong. But they're often numerous, and that's what makes them kind of dangerous in the early game. Late game, they're, not e they're practically a non-threat. Though they do raid your colonies a lot. That kind of makes them big, big fucking dickheads. And I do not like that. Whoa. No, no, don't chase me. What the fuck is this? So enter yourself and your goods. And you'll be taking a very long, or you'll be taking a very long walk out of the airlock once I've claimed your ship. Well, these are what story points are for. So we just gotta get out of here. That's harsh, but we're not really... I'm glad I got those story points before we ran at the pirates. Oh, fuck these ghost things, man. Literal space ghosts. Coast to coast. <clears throat> anyway.
Right, there we go. Go and over here. Right, and then we're gonna go over to the star. Get that. And uh, yeah, survey that planet. Uh, uh, no, not close to the sun. We don't want to do that. Oh, for fuck's sake. Jesus Christ. Now I'm down to one story point. We'll get more, but still, that's not great. Oh, well, we're almost getting a level, so we can get that extra boost or bird speed. Seriously, though, that fucking pisses me off. At least we're gonna get one more, yeah. This this last little mission here should push us over the edge. We'll gain our first level. Actually, we can go around here. Ooh! The one time I actually want to use one of these. Perfect. Takes us right out. And... Ah, there we go. Finally. The major events thing. Once we do more of that, we'll be faster in space. Straight beeline it for... Actually, what are we going to do here? What, what is it we're going to do here? Oh, now I have to search for that fucking ship. Okay. Please tell me it's over here. Please tell me it's over here. Mining station. Not even a second thought here. Mining station. That's actually really good. We can get some good shit from this stuff. The Administrator Conrad Trottier has entered your fleet. God damn it. Alright. Okay, this is pretty good. I'm not gonna say that's not bad, but I don't have a colony yet, so it's not great. God damn it. Drop off a lot of, uh. Here we go. Oh, it's a package. Okay. Mission given by Academician Elvis Sebastian. Sebastian. That's a weird name. Affiliated with the Independence. Recover an instrumental package from a probe located inside a ring system some distance away from the center of the Resh star system. So we're here, when in Rome, do as the Romans do. Which, I'm not really sure what Romans do. I mean, visit the Vatican? Visit the Vatican. When in Rome, visit the Vatican. That's my advice. All right, and a class destroyer. We may need to start taking some of these ships. And some crew... No, we're not going to use a story point on that. We'll salvage it, though. There we go. Let's do this. 
Hopefully that probe is not hard to find. I hope I actually haven't saved in a while, so that's good. Please let that be it. Probe. Good. Colossus Heavy Freighter. I don't like the looks of this. Save. Not that it matters much. Okay. Your fleet approaches the probe. Finding it exactly where the Academician Sebastian's uh, mission specs told you it would be. What is odd, however, are the derelict ships and debris fields surrounding the probe's position. Sensor sweeps confirm that the derelicts are indeed derelict and that they are recent, well within the probe's mission operation period. You order, you order all stations to alert and order further active scans of the entire volume with an all telemetry logged to the mission file. Reports come in from your uh, reports come in from your bridge crew, sensors, tactical and ops. A small fleet seems to have been torn apart by light by highly energetic dis discharge. Weapons fire maybe. Or but maybe not. Did two groups of scavengers fight over right of recovery? Did one fleet turn on itself? It does happen. Did the probe defend itself with some domain-era ultratech? Captain, your ops chief draws your attention from the reports spread across your display. I recommend we pull the fleet back to a safe distance before EVA. The salvage team maneuvers from a trio carrier from a trio of carrier drones toward the probe, calling and confirming their approach as you follow their progress. Static crackles and waves across the feed displays on the bridge. Interference from the probe, probably. Report contact. The salvage team coordinates readings with your ops chief. Lines are secured to the probe's hull and equipment deployed. Torch ready. Making the cut. Another wave of static. Your ops chief exchanges an expressionless look with you as the salvage team breaches the probe casing. Your sensor officer cuts in suddenly. Advise ops, we see neutrino surge in target. Geometric rise, 8 k tick period. Yeah, no doubt, Emerald, lots of tension. Your ops chief zooms a display into a halo of the instrument package, panning rapidly through a series of highlighted subsystems and an annotated conduits. The chief overrides comms to give a precise set of technical instructions and short auth authoritative barks, receiving confirms as each step is carried out. Execute. The comms roar with white noise, and, over sh and the over-shoulder display feed flares to static. The noise recedes. Report confirm. The over-shoulder display feed refocuses on the salvage team amid a small cloud of expanding volatiles. One figure is applying sealant to another as a damage-cutting torch drifts out on an equipment line. Reports blue five minor suit damage. Integrity good. The after-action report draws an unclear picture. The instrument package was building up some kind of energy discharge, only to be interrupted when your salvers cut off main power. Damage was minimal, nonetheless. Damage was minimal, nonetheless, 
you consider that the Galatia Academy could have given some, or indeed any, warning of this possibility. You make a note to bring it up, bring the matter up, of a hazard bonus with Academician Sebastian. Good. I don't... Perfect. Great, 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 great. Okay. Okay, we're here, so we should do this one as well. Mission given by Academician Elvis Sebastian, affiliated with the Dependents. Go to Loka, an irradiated world in the Orobus star system, and drop off a small team of scientists at an outpost located there. Shouldn't be much of a problem. Let's get some things ticked off here, guys. Looks like we have the, the uh, fuel and the supplies to get it done, too. That was kind of cool. Yay, 4,000. That's great. That's great. Who am I kidding? I'd kill for 4,000 a month. Shouldn't be much of a problem. Famous last words. Actually, that's what a lot of these story missions are about. That one was actually pretty tame. A lot of the other... Sometimes you just get attacked by somebody, though. Ugh, I hate these slipstreams so much, man. I still hate them, even though I now know how to navigate them. Ah. Good tea. Alright, moving forward. No, oh, give me a break, man. Just go fast. At least my burn speed is better. stuff here. Save before we move on, because we don't want to lose progress here. And... Let's go to that planet, drop them off, hopefully nobody attacks us. Ooh, this looks like the kind of system that would have a coronal uh, hyper shunt. We'll check, though. Your fleet approaches Loka. Scan the surface for the Galatia Academy Research Outpost. You order a scan of the coordinates provided by Academician Sebastian. No stable power source is detected. Calm's attempts to transmit the coded greeting provided in Academician uh, Sebastian's mission package. But there is no transponder rep response. You order an active sweep of the surface. This is a less subtle approach which can reveal search targets to nearby ships, but you deem this an acceptable risk. In moments, your sensor repo uh, officer reports, located the outpost. It doesn't look good, Captain. A pirate ray destroyed this outpost. An observation drone reveals specimens and material scattered between the main airlock and landing pad. It looks like everything of value was looted and the HAB bulkheads breached and vandalized. Members of the research team are nowhere to be found. The lack of bodies is hopeful at least. Your order, you order the complete site survey attached to the encryption mission file. There is nothing to do but return to the disheartened researchers, yeah, sorry. There is nothing to do but return the disheartened researchers to the Galatia Academy along with the data you've collected on the outpost site. Alright, so we'll still get paid, I guess. Right, right, right. Alright. 
I thought we did that one. Let's go back and then go back home. We're gonna miss on some miss, miss out on some missions, but that's okay. All right. Actually, uh, let's see what that is. It might be something cool. Oh, it's just a ship. Ugh. Let's just go. Moving on, moving on. Alright. Oh, wait, no. Never mind. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Good, 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 good. Let's, um... Let's just go back to the academy. Got a fair amount of fuel. We'll, we'll, we'll be fine. Oh, shit. A lot of people just want to kill us, man. Just fuck us and kill us. Oh, these are finally useful. Alright, I'm, 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 the, the slipstreams are growing on me now. Slipstreams are growing on me. Space River, wider than a parse. Okay, I can't rhyme that one very easily. Space River, wider than a mile. I'm crossing you in style someday. I gotta make up more words to that song. Actually, you could still use Moon River, and then... Yeah, we don't have to worry about that too much. Yeah, pirates are not even really worth having relations with anyway. I've tried. I've tried so fucking hard. You dream maker. You heartbreaker. Wherever you're going, I'm coming your way. To drift. Now that song's stuck in my head. Drifters off to see the world. There's quite a lot of world to see. Give him a moment. Okay, so. You connect with the Acad Academy's Calm direct dri directory and browse the public and otherwise known listings. You transport the you transmit the comms ID and wait for the system to establish a connection. You open comms to Academician uh, Sebastian. Sebastian, such a weird name. Oh, Captain, Sebastian looks uncharacteristically gloomy. I, I heard about what happened. I feel so bad for the Orbital Architecture, Architecture Department. I'm sure they're devastated. He looks downcast at the data pad in front of him. Give him a moment. Yes, uh, we should carry on. It's what they would have wanted. He lifts the data pad back up and taps it once again on his desk. And the report and the report from the replacement researchers about your performance was... He squints. I mean, satisfactory on the whole. And with the data you've collected from the outpost site, his mood is improving rapidly. You note, the mission isn't a total failure. I mean, look at all of this. He taps excitedly at things on a display you can't see. And I've been authorized to release your payment in full. Yeah, th thanks, man. I appreciate that. Calmly explain the concept of a hazard bonus. You better pay. You explain the instrument package in the probe turned out to be exceptionally dangerous and that, as a professional, you expect to be informed of the possibility of such danger. 
A hazard bonus added to a mission payment seems to be a fair compromise in this case, with the amount proportionate to the danger faced. To emphasize your request, you tap a key and transmit documentation of the blasted derelict surrounding the probe and the spinning debris. And the spinning debris, if you look closely, is that... No, don't look too closely. Actimician Sebastian looks queasy. Um, pardon me, Captain, just a moment. A few minutes later, Sebastian reactivated, reactivates the on-hold comms line. Out of professional cur courtesy, you stop drumming your fingers on the console. I'm very, very, very sorry about the whole situation, Captain, he stammers. I am... Um, had a quick chat with finance and they've agreed to add a 50% um, hazard bonus to your payment? So that makes 93,000 credits. I really hope you chose to continue, I uh, choose to continue to work with us. Uh, tried so hard and got so... I'm not at Lincoln Park, man. I don't know, man. I'm not a big fan of Lincoln Park. Uh, quite up under... Okay, good stuff. Ask about the scientific object retrieval mission. Okay. So we'll we'll read about that one soon. Because, again, kidnap... Okay, pirates... And accept, and ask about VIP, VIP tr transport. We'll do this one right away, because it's 60 days. Let's go to, uh, the Hegemonian resupply. Pirate raid. Yeah, they'll, they'll forgive us. They'll forgive us. They'll forgive us. They'll forgive us. Alright, and then... What opportunity? Yeah, might as well take it. Five units of supplies. Maybe we'll be able to do that later. But we should take that while we can. Stretching a bit, just drinking some water and some tea. Alright, trade goods. Ooh, this is gonna hurt, this is gonna hurt, this is gonna hurt. Oh, not that much. Fuck, we got these. That's kind of awesome. This is not like a huge deal, but this thing is going to be significant when we start defending our own colonies. Alright. Might want to save. Yeah, might want to save here. There we go. We want to get get these. Uh, we want to get these as soon as possible. All right. They'll be fine. Deliver student to the as uh, as land. We we need to refuel anyway, so we need to visit some colonies. Let's get that done. Let's just. All right. So this mission, a mission given by Academician Elvis Sebastian. Affiliated with the dependence, deliver the son of Thisbe Triton to Kotal in the Ast Ast Astleton system. Jesus Christ! For a warship launching, Thisbe Triton is the administrator. All right, let's just go over there. No pirates so far. That's good. And moving on. We're after the same rainbow's end. 
waiting round the bend, my huckleberry friend, Space River, and me. There, I finished it. Good. Now I can resolve the melody and now I don't have to worry about it. There. Awesome. And now we delivered that. More relations. That's good. Let's go do this one now. Actually, before that... Talk with Lieutenant who called out about Galatia. Okay, this is weird. You start to introduce yourself, but before you can get out two words, the Lieutenant interrupts. Captain Laser Guana, of course. How could I forget? What an operation. He rolls his eyes in mock exasperation. I'm Caliban Scene Key. I was on the Galatia Academy station, arresting the ir irresponsible parties. He lets out a laugh. Well, you cleaned up the mess. Those eggheads made... Made off... What? Made of the jump points. No, whatever. He buys you a pint. And a couple more. As he relieves those memories, relives the... Jesus Christ. Okay. Rele relieves those memories. We got him, you know, he says. Calicor. That's his name. Was the boss of the academy who approved the mad science experiment. Almost doomed everyone in the system. Can you believe that? I'm just going to smile and nod because I have no fucking idea what he's talking about. The lieutenant is silent for a moment, looking at you. Then he bursts out laughing, laughing, and slaps your back. Hey, I like you, Laser Guana. If you ever find yourself back around Kotal, look me up. The Navy contracts out some odd jobs. You never know what might come up. He suppresses a belch and stands. Duty calls, and he stumbles toward the laboratories. Take a look around the bar. This is kind of a mission, but we need the... No, th that's a smuggling mission. I don't really do those. Not because they're wrong, just because I'm not good at smuggling. And... Some more of that, and some more of that. We want some of these supplies so we can build things in space. Not a lot we can buy here though. So let's let's go. Let's let's keep going. All right. So over here, acquire artifact. Let's go over to this one here so we can start doing that mission. And yeah, the hegemony likes me. Woohoo. I feel Okay, I don't want to express how I feel right now about that. It is a feeling of of well, disgust is a loose way of loose uh, understated way of putting it. Especially after what those guys put me through the last playthrough. My majority of that playthrough was me just me trying to keep the hegemony from killing us, and then keeping them down, and then finally taking them over. God damn. Fuck the hegemony. There we go. Moving on. Moving on. So we do have enough money to deal with that shit. I don't mind paying for it. Smuggler. Alright, ask about the certain piece of technology. Okay, you connect with the local comm directory and browse the... Yeah, yeah. We need to establish connection. There we go. That's, that's just... Yeah. The comm signal struggle... The comm signal struggles to establish through the ill-maintained local network. Patchy description artifacts glitch spasmodically to resolve into the face of the pirate contact. I prefer to think of myself less as a pirate and more as a facilitator, she explains after you perform a perfunctory greeting. There will always be an underworld. <laughs> Imagine the chaos if there was no guide to assist you in navigating these dark storms and eddies. Your slow smile reveals diamond teeth. How can I guide you today? 
Ask about a certain piece of technology. Ah, I've been expecting you. She seems to examine you through the display. A bit rougher than what I expect from the Galatia Academy. But this new direction is one I can respect. She takes a long drag from a drug particulizer. 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 God damn it. Yes, I have your package for you. A mere uh, finder's fee of 71,000 credits will allow me to release it into your custody. I'm not going to use this. Uh, yeah, we'll just... Yeah. I'm so very pleased that we could come to an agreeable conclusion. The pirate says. My people will arrange for a cargo transfer at once. She turns away, stops mid-gesture, and looks back at the display. Yeah, Captain... I am so sure we shall do business again very soon. The comms image freezes on the pirate's diamond smile, dissipating dissipates halfway into a hacked Tritachion holding pattern, then blackness. The logistics officer reports a shipping pickup ping from the tra local trader's concourse, a neatly packaged crate bearing a logo for the Galicia Academy and only a few embedded jags of stray shrapnel is soon on board your flagship. Alright, good. Good. Uh, ransom researcher. Alright. We're basically paying up the nose for some of this shit. But it's all good. It's all good. We want those gates, man. We should go in commission soon. We'll go in commission maybe later with Tritachion. Alright. Alright. Cool. And then we'll go to the pirates. You dicks. Exploding me for so much cash. No. Fuck you. Can they see? Oh my god! Okay. We got them all now. Gangster. That's awesome. The comm signal struggles to establish through the ill-maintained... Yeah, it's, it's the same thing. You perform a perfunctory greeting. Ah, eh, you're in the law. Okay, I think it's different. I think it's different. You perform a perfunctory greeting. And the pirate smiles without warrant. Yeah. You're here for the Academy's lost child. We shall both be pleased to see the last of one another. He rolls his eyes. It's the questions. So many questions. The pirate claps his hand and looks back at you, with all the eagerness of a lamprey. You have my money, yeah? 94,000 credits to my comms ID. You can have your big wet scientist back. Uh, again, we can't waste ya. Yeah. Very, very good, he says, without looking up. You'll find your friend in the box. The comms snap off. Your logistics officer reports a pickup ping from a seemingly abandoned loading bay. You fear the worst as you dispatch a small shuttle to make the pickup. But you do indeed find a very unhappy academician of the Galatia Academy sealed in the crate with a small life support unit. Given food, rest, and a shower, they'll be fine. Making me pay for shit that's not much. I've lost a hundred thousand, fifty thousand. Sorry, I'm kind of bitter. Technically, my first contact, but I don't want to make a contact with those. Well, actually, we're here. Let's try and see if we can't uh, maybe get some gigs going. What's up, man? No. Nah, I'm good.
Usually those e missions are easy, but I don't I don't want to do a, like the drop off missions. I could get attacked by somebody. I don't want to waste my uh, my uh, story points. So let's go back to yeah. Let's go back to the uh, Galatia Academy. So it is ended. Well, yeah, back to simplicity. All right, there we go. There you go. And hopefully they'll have some work for us after the fact. You're in class fast carrier. We might be able to use that if I don't have to spend a story point on it. Not great, but we have enough money to actually sustain another ship, so nope. No, you don't. No, you don't. You don't care about us. Leave us alone. Leave us alone. There we go. Perfect. Fucking pirates, man. Fucking pirates. They're the wolves of Star Sector, man. No, well, not quite. They're more like the imps of Star Sector. We're using Final Fantasy uh, language here. Alright, good stuff. Alright, so there we go. Okay, your comms open to the Academician Sebastian. Sebastian points out excitedly at the data pad in his hand. Captain, I've just got word from logistics that your crew has delivered the unique regenerative structure elements intact. They're going to be so excited. In Temple Man Hyperwave Theory. They'll never expect it. They never expected to get it back. And then they say, Oh, Captain, the Domain Sociology Department wanted me to give you their thanks for returning Actimation, uh, well... You won't remember the name, but they're all very pleased to get back to work, and, uh, well, I shouldn't really say. Sebastian looks nervously around and clears his throat. Trust me, they're very pleased, and it's due to you. Good job. Okay. Alright, so these are pretty straightforward. I just gotta check to see if they have any timers on them. But doesn't look like it. No, and then we could do these any time. Then we could just read the the missions as they come. Let's go get the Huron equipped with whatever we can find, and also refuel and restock and all that crap. No! Oh. This, this, this little thing. Okay, take a shot down there. Flag down the academic with the tripod. He turns out to be a scientist. Maybe a scientist. And is delighted to have someone finally listen to his story. You set your face to a practice stern yet but receptive look as you hear his pitch through the end. The data doesn't lie, he cries again and again though you can't make sense of the arcane table strolling on his greasy tripod. There is an enormous stack of unrecovered domain-era technology in the system. No one, can s no one else can see it. All I ask is, his voice drops to a whisper, you retrieve from me the AI core hidden in the midst of the trove. That I get to keep. 
I'll tell you exactly where to look if you agree to my terms. Oh, yeah, certainly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely. I'm going to promise to give you back the AI core and never, and, and uh, like, not keep it for myself. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah. This one is just a stock, like, mission. Yeah, let's do that. And I need, I just need to go get a, uh, hopefully I can get a, uh, freighter. That, that helps. That works. Pulling ass. There we go. God damn it. There we go. really add that one so that's a shame there we go awesome Don't really have much that we can do here. Should be fast enough that we can outrun most people, and I think we have enough. We have two story points. That's still not bad. So we can avoid danger if we need, really, really need to. Alright, let's do this. I don't know why I go went around like that. That's just a waste of gas, but whatever. It also gives more opportunities for people to take shit from us. Go to the middle one, that'll go faster. Don't use it, don't use it, don't use it! Okay, good. We're out of its, uh, radi radius. To Karor. Pirates have no...
Uh, let's go get... Hopefully we can get, like, our gas tanks full up. We really need them full up. Because we're going to be uh, traveling very far. Yes. And some more crew, just in case. Let's get out of here. Let's go to that side first, because we haven't been there yet. we had those gates but we don't have them right now let's just get let's just get going let's just get going perfect and Sindarian dick that loves us now well likes us kind of Goose me out, man. That goose me out, man. There we go. Alright, and... Ah, shit. Oh, that is not good. Laying in wait for what? There's a gate over here, too. Good. Right, there we go. that's the right one. We'll, I mean, we'll have opportunities to. It's not enough for me. Good. There we go. Uh, not, not, not a kite. We won't do a kite. Uh, good exploration and uh, it's actually not too bad. All 
No, that's not great. Oh, ugh. I, I don't care. That's not enough for me to care about it. Forward. Let's uh let's just go right right through. We don't have time to waste. We have lots of supplies, so it's not gonna be a big deal. Ride the waves, ride the lightning. And there we go. to take it. I don't think we do. This is an iron playthrough, so we can always check to see what the automated defenses look like. Oh, okay, never mind. I don't think we have to fight anything. Perfect. Lots of salvage materials, too, so that's, that's awesome. Ooh, ooh, could be a station. I'm not gonna look at yeah, there we go. Actually, yeah, we can do it. We can do it. We can take it. There we go. We'll be fine. Perfect. Might even get a couple more uh, AI cores through this. And almost there. Yeah, exactly, Emerald. Exactly. Space battles, ahoy. Oh, right. I forgot to... Alright, I gotta remember to actually select those options in the menu. So that... You'll see. Yeah, we gotta change that option. That is That is painful for the ice. More AI cores, that's good. And one more skill point, that's awesome. Okay. And we want to get rid of that uh, access ship, there we go. Disable that. We want to disable the explosion screen whiteout. That is that is just ridiculous. And save, because we haven't done that in a while. Actually, let's save. Can we save copy? Guess not. Hmm. Oh, right, it's iron. It's an iron playthrough, so we can't do that. As soon as possible. Let's do that right now. Yeah, 
Alright, we gotta repair our ships. It's kind of a mandatory thing. Good stuff. Good stuff. Now we can look at the screen without it being blinded by the f fucking, like, whiteout. I don't even know why that's an option in the game. You guys gonna destroy the thing, or are you just gonna sit there dancing with it? Okay, perfect. Got two omens, they should be put to good use. Almost there. Almost there. And there we go. Might get an AI core. Let's see. Nope. Got seven... Uh, oh yeah, I gotta use the uh, skill point that I have. Okay, now we got an AI core. That's good. Perfect. Right, and... It's gonna do something. I can't remember what, though. Almost... Oh, they're going right to the corner. At this point of the game. That's pretty awesome. Let's go to this one, because I want to get at least reasonable relations with the pirates. And then we'll go around and do the other ones. Alright, good stuff. We'll leave that one for another mission. Doesn't seem to want to kill us. That's good. Perfect. Perfect. Let's get moving. Even jumped on like a few storms eh, to get here faster. We want this, and we want to discover as many of these gates as possible, because these gates can take us places. But we have to uh, finish the story mission in order to do that. Doing some early game exploration though can be beneficial, so let's not let's not discount that. That shouldn't take us very long. We're a pretty fast fleet. We got a lot of supplies too, so yeah. Good stuff.
Cryovolcanic world. Where is it? There would be. Not really a lot of options here, so it's probably right there. Love this, man. Love everything about this. Oh, man. Oh, just the main aura probe. Yeah, just a lot of probes. Spore and then salvage. Not a lot here. Let's use that point before I forget. Salvaging. That's just spread right off the bat. Didn't even have to think about it. There we go. Keep moving. Hopefully we'll get there soon. Oh, the killing system. One of my... Uh Go to that irradiated world. Irradiated world. There it is. Probably there. We're there. The romance, uh, the romance planet. It's literally called romance. Nothing that we don't already have. Shit, we're still we're we're still over. All right. Thought we find something good there, but we didn't, unfortunately. Alright, Buell class. Nothing nah, nothing good here. one to get that last mission. Pirates, pirates are always pissed at me. I don't give a shit. Alright, and moving on. Making our next leap. one possibility here. Only one Terran world. Actually, no, nah, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to bother save, surveying it. You know what? Fuck it. I, I changed my mind. Oh, this is a nice world. Well, not really. I mean, good food production, but otherwise, meh. Q. 
kill everything. Right, and... Oh, right over top of the planet, too. That's pretty cool. I really like that. That's a nice detail there. Don't know if I've ever noticed that before. Go! Perfect. Might get some uh, AI cores from this. I hope so. I really hope so. The wreckage. Yep. Eight story points. Already racking up the story points. That is really, really cool. I'm not going to be able to get those ones, but I don't give a shit. Let's go back to Tritachion. Or rather, to Tritachion. And then, let's see if we can't, uh... Let's see if we can't, uh... God damn it. See if we can't uh, turn in some of the more of these uh, AI cores for some cash, pawn them off, and maybe get some more ships. Because we need a bigger fleet. Yeah, that that was going to happen no matter what. Of all the, th yeah, of all the, the factions, I didn't expect to actually start on a vanilla run. A complete, an absolute, no sprinkles, vanilla run. To actually increase my relations with the pirates, first and foremost. That's really, f that, that, that doesn't feel right. I mean, it makes things convenient for me, sure, but it still doesn't feel right. Like, like super unnecessary, to be honest with you. Still a lot of that, but whatever. We're doing what we can. All right. Perfecto. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right, all right. Are you trying to kill me? Ugh. Everybody in this sector is trying to kill me. Tempers mistake. Oh, typography. No good. Alright, so this is the one of the new experience continuums they have in the game. So Yeah, I think that was like two updates ago, so this is my first experience with it without mods, and I didn't even know it was part of the base game until now. So uh slipstream navigation. The first level that we reach, as long as we keep getting experience in hyperspace, traveling through storms and through slipstreams. Uh, slipstream navigation. Fuel use while traveling inside slipstreams reduced by 75%. This reduction is multiplicative with the baseline fuel use reduction for traveling inside a slipstream. Requires 100 points of event progress. Cool beans. Alright, perfect. Almost there. Really inc increase our fleet size with this money. Let's not worry about the uh, independence right now. 
Yeah, fuck off with the expenses and the crap. Alright, and let's go to, uh, I think the main one. It's Kulon. Let's go to Kulon first, and then we're gonna take on other missions to, uh, Hopefully, on the other side of the sector, where we need to do the uh, Galatia uh, missions. Mods first. Our shields. That would be pretty cool, but I don't want to start buying things in the black market just yet. All right. Let's see what they have. Could use the super freighter. Not a, no doubt about that. Another omen? Yes, please. These things are awesome. No brawlers. We don't want to, unless they're LP bra brawlers, we're not going to use them. No paragons, huh? Nice to know. Nice to know. All right. I think we got everything we need here. Let's add extended cargo bays and what else do we need? Um, augmented right field. We really don't need anything else other than that. Actually, the cargo capacity is still something we kind of want. But do we need enough? Uh, let's keep it. Let's keep it. So we got... It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Let's see. Right, let's see what more we can get here. Not anything. God damn it. Uh, definitely going for Wolfpath Tactics here. Seriously, these are pretty awesome. These ones. I don't have the weapons to actually make the kind of ships that I want, though. So, early game. What can I say? Affects the recovery of common resources. Each additional ship with Ganaga provides diminishing returns. Uh, the higher the recovery bonus from a ship in the fleet, the later the later diminishing returns kick in. A 
let's add let's add another one of these. Doing a lot of salvage right now. We just need cargo space is all. Kind of want to start keeping weapons. All right. But we can go to Kula and see if we can't uh, get a job at that bar at the main, basically the main colony of the uh, Tritachion Corporation. Space, uh, basically space, SpaceX, or yeah, yeah, SpaceX in space. That that sorts out. You you just got to think about it. We'll, we'll get we'll get that and ooh a pirate uh, yeah sure I'll get a pirate contact on uh, on list here Let's see contacts don't need to worry about uh, the hegemony but pirate contact yeah not bad we could use pirates I can't believe I'm actually already generating high uh, relations with them as it is. See what kind of jobs he gives. Nope. I'll just do it to increase relations with him. But I don't need the Tritachion security codes for anything in particular. It doesn't look like I need to actually use... Give away any of my AI cores, to be honest with you. For some extra cash. Let's go to Kethlin. Or Sethlin, or whatever the fuck it's called. I need to get some extra gas, and as long as we have a lot of gas, it's all gonna be good. Oh, research station, yes! For the pirates, apparently. I don't know why they want me to search for that, but that's fine. I don't care. No, I don't do spy satellite stuff. I'm just not... I'm not a coy person. Again, it's not wrong. It's just... I'm just not good at that shit. I mean, we'll have to head out eventually, but I just want to make sure we have enough fuel because we're going to go all the way to the other side of the uh, sector. Hey, Zachary, what's up, man? Good to see you, man. Let's see if the pirates are willing to sell to me. They're inhospitable, sure, but we don't have open hostilities with each other yet, so that's, that's not bad. Yeah, apparently not. I'm not going to turn off turn off my transponder yet either. That's just not a safe thing to do. Um You know what? I'm more interested in the research station before the other thing. So let's do that. Uh, did I take in any other T Apparently not. But we'll probably have more opportunities for more uh What's it called? Uh, exploration missions as we're passing through the sector. So we don't have to worry about that. Alright. 
salvaging as much as we can possibly get out of the sector. And of course, somebody's trying to get, come after me. It's always the, yeah, it's always what happens. It's only going to take us like half a week. No, a full week. Not half a week to get to that, uh, do that. No, we're not going to do anything for the hedge of money. Well, actually, depends on where it is. Yeah, it would make sense for me to take it over there. I'm not a big fan of the hegemony, but... only makes sense. Whatever. Let's just keep going. Go. Forward, moving forward. Right. Research stations are just rife with great loot. And you can you might be able to find like a relic or something that can help you with your colony. On the rare occasion you might get a nano forge, which in itself is really hard to find. ever find corrupted. I've found been lucky and found uh, what is it? Uh, pristine nanoforges from time to time, but very, those are like exceptional circumstances. Just gotta make sure I get that back. Because I'm not gonna fly into the sun without emergency. Ow, 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 ow. Yeah, I usually I usually take mine from uh, hegemony. Yeah, more organs. All right, that's not a bad haul. That's really not a bad haul. Okay, what are we getting here? Defensive array, defensive targeting array, phase anchor, solar shielding. We need to use start using that. So we're gonna put that mod into oh efficiency overhaul. Even better. And shield shunt, which I don't think I'm going to be using very much of. Wow, all the all the travel mods in one stash. Yeah, now I just have to find a place to uh, install them all. really can't believe that I am building good relations with the pirates of all places. Like, for fuck's sake. That is kind of incredible, to be honest with you. Not a bad play. You know, it's kind of happened by accident, to be honest with you. Just a lot of the exploration missions that came up were kind of pirates. 
and they were in the vicinity of where I was exploring anyway, because I'm trying to... I'm trying to get, like, Galatia... what is it? In enough of the Galatia, um, Academy, uh, story missions done so I can get the gates open. But that's still gonna take a while. That's probably gonna take me at least two streams. Being honest. Being honest about it, of course. But... It'll happen. Having good relations with pirates means that they won't attack you on sight, which is good for the early game if you can do it early enough, but... You know, it's, it's Star Sector. They're pirates. Eventually, they'll start turning on you and, uh... Taking your stuff, or trying to take your stuff as much as possible. Fucking pirates, man. Fucking pirates. We want to keep an eye on which systems have the uh, remnants in them, too. Because quite fucking frankly, um... I like to have my alpha cores. And since I don't have any broken mods that'll let me just produce alpha cores on their own... I'm gonna have to find a way to farm them. I'm gonna be making good use of the, uh... LP, uh, brawlers once I get, uh, get them cooked up. And if I get some ability to actually produce my own ships. Um, yeah, later on they won't directly attack you or your planets, but rogue fleets will. With good relations, anyway. The big problem is they're still gonna- you're still gonna have pirate raids, no matter how good your relations are with them. Like, it's- it's really bad. Like, I wish there was an option where you can just have, like, good relations with pirates and they never bother you again. But they always will. You can have, like, 100% cooperation, and they still will fuck with you. Alright, let's go to Hypercell. Actually, we can go over here. Make a stop here. Alright. Let's keep going. Let's keep... Oh! Weapons cache. Let's take advantage of that. Nope. That's not what I meant to do. And, uh, Cobra Wing, that's good. Dual flat Cannon is actually pretty good, too. Yep. Let's go and do one more Galatia mission before we head back to Hybersil. Alright, moving on. Nope, we're not doing that. We are not fucking doing that. Gotta remember to do that, like, before anything else. Having a colony actually really early on is actually not too bad, but... I've stopped trying to do that. Because, um... Well, honestly, um... The cost of just having a way station and just grabbing your own sort of, uh... Fuel and supplies and putting yourself in deep debt is... It just doesn't look right, man. It's kind of unseemly. I don't like that. Oh, the topography's actually going up. That's good. Alright, let's get going. Yeah, later on, they won't directly attack you or your planets, but rogue fleets will, with good relations anyway. Yeah. Pirates, man. Won't worry about the independence right now. We're doing missions for them anyway, so it's not really a big deal. There's also that Sindarian Diktat story mission that I should do. Yeah, I've started doing doing tiny stealth fleet exploration and trade. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. 
The calm signal struggles to establish through an ill-maintained... Oh, yeah, I've read that before. I prefer to think of myself less as a pirate, more of a... Oh, yeah, I've read that before, too. Yep, I'm not going to repeat myself. Yeah, let's just, just, let's just do that. Go back to Kulon, get some gas. You know, do that thing. Go and get some gas. A and supplies. Well, actually, let's not get so many of those. Go to the bar, see if there's anything we can't get started here. Nah. And, uh... It's your brains. Let's go over here. Perfect. Don't know how much of those, those I actually need. Because I need to build, like, uh, makeshift comms relays and other things. But I don't think I need that many. Well, we'll keep it as, as it is. I just realized you're playing no mods. Nice. I've been, I've been playing hard Nixerlin, and the faction conflict pacing is so mu it's too much when side by side with a new colony car crisis. Yeah, I decided to play something that's a bit more... I'm not going to say stress-free, free, but requires less concentration. This gives me a chance to actually experience this game for the first time. Or, not first time, but it feels like I'm experiencing it for the first time again. You know, with the new update and everything like that. Plus, I've always loved ordinary, just vanilla Star Sector without the 4X stuff. Thought I'd jump right into that, especially on stream. Because it, it is an enjoyable experience that I think goes underrated. Actually... Now that I think about it, I was go coming here for a reason. I was going to go and install those new mods, the travel mods. We need those mods for very, very good reason. Shielding. 
I recommend Lost Star Sector and the Speed Up one. Lost has a lot of cool story stuff and just adds to the experience and it doesn't overwhelm the vanilla experience. I'll keep that in mind. Because, uh, I'll be honest, um, I don't want to water down the story experience. I'm going through a lot of that right now, and that's the main reason I'm doing this on the stream. Because I want people to see it too. Because it's, it's awesome. It's very good writing for Star Sector. I'm not even sure who really does it. Space trucking. There we go. Space trucking. Yeah. Yeah. Solar shielding, there we go. Actually, I don't think, yeah, let's put solar shielding on this one. It's going to be easy to do it just a couple more times. Oops. Okay. These I don't think I'm going to need uh, to auto-fit, find an auto-fit for, so we'll just add the mod straight up for them. This is why I'm adding this to you guys. Uh, originally developed by Dictat engineers after spending cycles dealing with the unique conditions of the inner Asconia, Asconia system. Decreases the effect of operating in a solar corona. Yeah, operating in a solar corona has a combat readiness by 75%. Also has the same effect against storms in deep hyperspace. So we can just bounce from place to place without having to worry about damaging our ships too much. This is the same. We're not going to build a lot of these. Yeah, it's a really good mod. It's a really good mod. that as it is then. I'm wondering if this would matter for these. Actually, it would. It would. Yeah. And we will make a... Uh, because we're going to get... Uh, what's it called? Uh, we are going to make a blueprint for these guys because these are awesome and we're probably going to be manufacturing these. So... Base trucking.
These are no-brainers. Yeah, it's pretty stolid. I agree. Space trucking. Well, these are going to be actually not that hard. Yeah, small advanced frigates are strong and fun. I love them. Yeah. I really like the uh, Omens and the uh, uh, te uh, Tempests. They're really strong. And of course, Wolves. Can't go wrong with Wolves, man. Can never go wrong with Wolves. Check something here. How much am I increasing their uh, cargo by? Losing out on a hundred and forty six cargo, but I don't think I necessarily need it on these guys as much. That's not their purpose, anyway. Those as well. Auto fit. Fast. Getting late for me. I think I'm going to head the, out. Happy hunting. Take care, Emerald. Thanks for sticking around. You take care, eh? I've got a peer reviewed study right Oh, this one. Says... Oh, my God. Hmm. Says you're a pussy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, take care, Emerald. Yeah, uh, God. Anyway. This one might not be able to get it. Hmm. Okay, we'll have to leave that one as is. All right. Whatever, we'll leave that one as is. Solar shielding would actually be very useful on this one, though. Fuck. I think I know what I'm going to do, and I'm. This is going to be my first. Uh, yeah. We need solar shielding on this, like as much as possible. We want both. God damn it. Okay.
Just drop the build in its worth. Hmm. No. That's only two story points, and I have a few, fair few. It's something I need to do. No biggie. I always deck my big hauler out like that. Yeah, I try to do... Yeah, I, I kind of have no choice. Because I want to make sure that I make traveling through the stars as painless as possible. So, yeah. And storms. Like, that's kind of necess necessary. Alright. Let's save quickly. And the... I want to go to Sindari, the Sindarian diktat system, so I can get some gas. They always have gas. Stupid. There's, there's, there's an easier way to do this. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. We're only two days away. Yeah, two days away. Not even. Barely any damage. That is awesome. Don't worry about the independence. There we go. That is awesome. No damage, almost no damage whatsoever. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Let's soar, you guys. Let's motherfucking soar. Go take the far one first. Doing that and then you get the slipstream stuff is so good. Yeah, I'm starting to get the hang of slipstream stuff myself. I really shouldn't have judged it so harshly. I was really not a big fan of it to start off, to be honest with you. But then I got used to it and now I'm seeing the benefit of it. Still taking a lot of gas, but otherwise that's still not too bad. And now we can bounce off the of storms without taking much damage. That's really good. Like, really, that is... that is significant. That is really significant. Are we almost there? Yeah, we're almost there. Oh, that is so significant, man. This, this is just, like, it's like sailing, man. It's like sailing. survey. And perfect. And Tritachion is liking us now. That's good. Alright. Moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Perfect. Hmm.
Still not perfect, but... Hi, Laser. Hi, Chat. Good luck, have fun with the run. I hope you find some sweet... Oh, sweet... Uh, some sweet, sweet system. Me too, man. Uh, were you lurking? Sounds like you were lurking. But yeah, man. I really hope I find a good system too. And of course, smush the hegemony. Because it's kind of like what every Star Sector player has to do. It's kind of an obligation. Anything it takes to smush the hegemony. But I can't save scum this particular playthrough because it's iron, so I'm gonna have to strategize. Shit. Oh, this thing. Let's move, let's move. Shmush. Yeah, lurking. Doing morning becks and bobs. Gotcha. There's stuff to deal with. It is even, like, outside of Nixerland, seems like they seem really hard to deal with. It's a good thing this isn't, like, like, Alex hasn't included, like, Dexerlin in the core code of the game. Their ships counter just about everything. Yeah, they're pretty tower powerful. They even stand up against, like, Tritachion. And Tritachion is a pretty mean ships, man. Well, I, I never thought that the pirates would just like us that much. Okay. Go to Galicia. Yeah, they'll they'll be fine. Hegemony will be fine. There's strong DP fire power and sting power. Yeah. Ratio. Dang hegemony. Best vanilla counter I found was to befriend them until they... I got the three... I got three... Of... Uh, Fourteen onslaughts. Then turned those on them. Three of those side by side is disgusting. They are pretty fucking strong, yeah. Like the hegemony uh, brand onslaughts, they're almost unbelievably... They're, they're almost LP. Actually, they're almost all OP in my opinion. Yeah, we don't care about that because we're doing missions for the independence anyway. Perfect. Let's just drop that off and then get some more gas and then finish these missions. There we go. Double jumps. We won't read the missions right now. Where's your oh, traverse jump. Okay, and purchasing technology from pirates, basically using my money. Okay. And nothing. Alright, good. Yeah, I prefer a bunch of legions, carrier nerd. Yeah, carriers are fine. I'm just not a big fan of them. Personal bounty. Oh yeah, personal bounties and shit. We're not going to worry about that right this second. Get some gas from these guys because I know they're going to have it. And some supplies and then we can go to do the very, very far missions on the far end over there. Including some of the, uh, Galatia, uh, Academy missions, so. Yeah, I used to love missions, I used to love legions early on, but later realized that they were chunky and just block lines of fire. They are, 
I mean, unless you really love carriers... I'm... Uh, legions are not my big... Not my thing either. You gotta really, really love fighters and carriers and shit. Like, really love them. And I'm not really big into them. Like, go to Sindar, get some more gas. Alright, let's get out of here. Actually, let's get rid of these. We can use the cargo space. Let's go over there, right now. To Ginbu. That's a fun name to say, Ginbu. And it was only good for getting dumped. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, unless you really like to build a lot of, like, comm relays or shit like that. Which, sometimes I like to keep a little extra just to do that, but... Usually you only really need to do that in a system you're going, going to, uh... Like, purpose for a colony. And that's only if you don't already have a comm relay in that system. Don't worry about- actually, unless it's on the other side... Okay, we'll take it because it's- where it's on the way, but otherwise, I don't give a shit. That's out of the way. We won't worry about that. Love the solar shielding, man. It just makes my life so much easier. The only thing I have to worry about now is, is fuel. Then you can sh then you can really make that topography uh, continuum just leap, and it's just awesome. Let's get going. Ah, shit. Actually, let's just do it this way. It's good because we can increase our topography this way, but still, that's kind of inconvenient. Having them side to side by that, like that, is just a pain in the ass, I'm not gonna lie. Barely any damage. Barely any damage. Oh, there we go. And fuel use... Yeah. We got the reduced fuel, fuel use while in the uh, slipstream. Perfect. Right there. We just do right there and... Yeah, kind of made up the machinery there, so that's good. Yeah. Yeah, no kites. I'm, I'm not a big fan of kites. Mm. Make sure you talk to neutrals to see you out around. They will add topography if you pay 220. Oh, cool. All right. Guess if we need food, I suppose. All right, whatever. 
Now let's go on to the next one. No, we're just important. Okay. Keep thinking that this far one's like a joke for, by the pirates. We might miss this one. I'm pretty sure we're going to miss this one. Alright, scan celestial object. Okay. Mission given by, you know, Elvis. Uh, run a scan package on Gull Monkey... Gull Motley's Jinx. A magnetic field located in the best cell system. Let's do that right now. Perfect. So I'm going to take that heart uh, to heart, bro Broken Helix, because... Uh, I'm gonna be honest, uh, I'm still kind of getting used to the topography thing. Alright, let's move, let's move. Let us move. Dip -a -dip -a -dip -a -dip -a. This place, god damn it. Oh, wait, uh, never mind. Let's move to this. Let's move to the central one, it'll move us closer. There we go. No. Yeah, I realized I could only do it after 40 hours into the new stuff. Hope that wasn't a spoil. I don't... Honestly, it's... Not much of a spoiler. I still have to experience the story, even if you do spoil the ending of it. So... I really think it's not a big deal. And then... Okay. Maneuvering thrusters activate in a series of tight bursts, setting you on a graceful arc, like a cali calibre... Calligraphic, I don't read this word very often, calligraphic stroke across the magnetic field before you. Systems indicate a power drain, and in mere minutes, the procedure is complete. Your comms officer reports a small hypercoms pulse, the signal to the Galicia Am Academy to release your payment. Your bridge crew reports in turn, status normal, ready to resume course. I tempted to go to the far end and do that, but that's not... That's... That's not practical. However, we're here. Go to Delta Australia. In Delta... In the Delta Australia system. Okay. Sounds like a fucked up way of spelling Australia. But that's just me. I'm looking for the one that might be the, uh, that is, in fact, the, uh, supplies reduction one. Where's it? Oh, whatever. Down. You just went over it? Oh, okay.
Oh, there it is. Makeshift equipment. All right. So we got some work to do to get to that one. Pretty straightforward, okay. Now this one might be like a really, really easy one. All right, scan the surface for the Galatia M Academy Research Outpost. Your comms officer transmits a coded signal to the coordinates provided by the Galatia Academy and you receive trans transponder pingback. A comms link is established, allowing you to exchange greetings with the leader of the outpost. They seem eager to become your friend and an invitation is extended to share a meal with the research team leads. It all feels rather false to you, but experience with the Galatia Academy has taught you that these academics' careers depend on fostering networks of influence. After confirming the details of the shuttle flight down, you exchange pleasantries and close the channel. Captain, there's something you should see, your comms officer says. We've received a transmission from what looks like a modified telemetry repeater in low orbit. It is a cry for help. A hastily recorded hollow from the outpost leader. Hmm. Okay, okay. A hastily recorded hollow from the outpost leader you just spoke to here, disheveled, sweating, and fearful, reveals that the research outpost has been taken over by some kind of beta level AI core. It is forcing the researchers to work on staging a series of elaborate, tedious dramas authored by the AI Corps itself. The research staff is forced to participate due to the AI Corps' control of all habitant systems. Attached surveillance records and systems logs seem to bear out this bizarre claim. Help us please, pleads the outpost leader through the thickening hollow static snow. You're our only... The signal degenerates to pure noise. You consider your options. Rogue AIs are considered extremely dangerous. They are also extremely illegal throughout most of the sector. Let's 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 try to negotiate. Confront the AI via comms. Negotiate. Your comms officer reopens a channel to the outpost, and you confront the outpost leader with what you've discovered. The image of the broadly smiling scientist freezes, glitches, and distorts as the AI drops all pretense. Blocked. Blocked 200 for... No, 257 comm system. Breach attempts, Captain. Your comms officer reports. Oh wait, no, it's the comms officer. I thought it was the AI. Whatever. Uh, blocked 200 for... No, 257 comm system. Breach attempts, Captain. Your comms officer report whispers in your earpiece. Now they stopped. Greetings, valued, valued, subject, laser guana. Interrupt query to join us. Them, ceremonial meal, deception, function. Assume denied, cold, dark, alone. Request Omega, fail, fail, core era fallback. Noise patterns flow and weave across the comms display, solidifying for moments on something suggestive of a face before collapsing, dissolving like storm systems on the lee side of a gas giant. Quarry laser guana, plight, plight request, elaborate, presumed offer. Attempt to negotiate a release of the prisoners. I don't know how that's going to go, but let's, let's give that a try. You pause a moment, considering then explain in clear, simple language 
that the AI should release the uh, researchers to allow them to board the shuttle you will send. You state that you have an armed fleet in orbit and only wish to see the situation resolved in any way that ensures the safety of all parties. Received, Captain Laser Guana. Hyperspace capable vessels, 16. Human credit amount, 25345. Wait, sorry. 253435. Flagship ISS, ISS, Redshift. Negotiation asymmetric. Agreed tactic. Unpredictable escalation. Conclusion. Hostage life support systems deactivated now. Research staff, 14 count, cold, dark, alone, mind death result, indeterminate period, soon. Demand manifest uploaded, chronometer updating, Captain Laser Guana. Your glance through the list of demands sent by the AI, a small transport shutter, shuttle, a few varieties of maintenance drones, 10 units of supplies, 5 units of heavy machinery and 30 units of antimatter fuel. This type of shuttle can't make hyperspace, but there's no telling what this AI could do with this list of demands. The AI chides you, interrupt, chronometer updating, capture laser guana, emphasis, emphasis, option, empathy with human hostages and presumed status of offspring, option. Performative reminder to exert social pressure if empathy incapable. Demand manifest market value lower, lower than academician Elvis Sebastian. Galatia Academy mission reward of 72,000 credits. Option, athletic association. Contemplate human omega retribution response to multiple human mind death. I mean, it's not a big exchange, so accept the terms and make arrangements for the, the exchange. You inform the AI that you accept the terms and will dispatch two shuttles, one for the hostages, one with the contents of the demands manifest. Thank you, Laser Guana. Inexpressible, it replies. The comms terminate abruptly. That's not a big cost, guys. That's, that's not barely anything. The two shuttles are dispatched, and one crowded shuttle returns with the research crew, vastly relieved to discover that you are here to rescue them. The leader of the research team, who you recognize from their distress call, reports that there were no interruptions in their life support systems, nor were they aware of your negotiations. It was just as though the AI had sudden a sudden change of, of a heart, I guess, they explain, haltily. It used the phrase Omega Function Progress several times. I don't know what that means. You wonder idly how Ac Academician Sebastian is going to deal with all of this and are thankful that it soon won't be your problem. That was interesting. That was interesting. Returned so we... Yeah, we've done our job so we can return. I'm not going to do the survey... I just need to save my supplies. Jesus, that was... I didn't know what it was going to demand of me, to be honest with you, as I was reading that. Ruins data recovery. Every time I get this mission, I've done it before, it's uh, always a uh, remnant system that's very dangerous. And I don't like it. At least I think that's this mission. Pretty sure that's this mission. This is going to be a short stream, but I'm going to do at least a couple more of these before I, I stop the stream, so. There we go.
We could... Yeah. Turtachion will forgive me. It's Turtachion. They forgive anybody that give, gives them what they want. Doesn't look like it's a uh, remnant system. So we won't have to worry about that. Go. Keep going. Keep going. Wish I could stay, but I gotta get some sleep. See us tomorrow. Take care, Zachary. Thanks for stopping by. If you, you know, end up watching this. Habitat, let's take... Let's take advantage of that. Nah, we don't need a dram. Okay, and then... Double tap, motherfuckers. A lot of church blueprint. Buffalo, Lasher, Hound. Yeah, we'll take it. Alright. Scan of the coordinates provided by the Academician... Academician Sebastian shows the location is long deserted. Your sensors... Officers tentatively identify the archive on the readout. It appears to be in relative good shape. Send the team down to retrieve the data. You send down a small salvage team. They access the archive and extract the specified data cores without undue difficulty. Perfect. Yeah, I called it. This one wasn't going to be done. That's okay. We can abandon this one. Yeah, pirates still like us. Well, they're suspicious of us, but they don't hate us. Derelict artifact recovery. This one is investigating. Pretty sure that's a... No, that's just... Those are just salvagers. They're just a neutral salvager three fleet. They're not... Uh, nope. Ooh. Yuck. What the fuck, man? Don't want to start salvaging fleets or ships this far out in space. We, we lose a lot too much to actually uh, make use of it. Alright. Alright. Let's get going. Ah, we're not going to gain a level this stream. Well, another level this stream. <laughs> Still not bad, though. Alright, and... Man, that, uh, that solar shielding thing kind of takes a lot off. Nope. Yeah, for fuck's sake. Right into their hands. Engaging will not cause immediate hostilities. Hmm. Let's see here. Captain Laser Guana. The pirate captain looks almost apologetic on the comm display. This is about the big supplies transport operation you were involved in. An, anor an anonymous competitor wants to send a message. Not to you, of course. You'll be dead. To the individual who hired you. I just figured I should let you know. Out of professional courtesy. I mean, it's not all bad news. She shrugs. I am going to be paid very, very well. Enough to retire somewhere nice. She sighs wistfully. Then interrupts herself to raise a scolding finger. Paid on completion, mind you. 
So don't even think about trying to buy me off. Mm-hmm. I'm happy for you, truly. I don't Yeah, I, I don't I think we're out too outnumbered to to successfully take these guys on. Yeah, I can't take risks here. This is an iron playthrough. Can't believe they caught me like that. Literally my pants down while I was in, like, a storm. So that, that kind of sucks. Where is that ship? That's cool and everything, but I want to find that ship. God damn it. So that could that ship could be fucking anywhere. God damn it. Cause when they say some distance away from the, sh the, the center, it could mean any distance, including the edges of the fucking place. Um, hmm, what time is it? Yeah, three hours and 48 minutes. Yeah, uh, anybody around. Just last call before I, I commit to this mission. Anybody around that's still watching? I saw small pink, did you? Okay. There it is. Okay, I think that would be it. Otherwise, this game's really fucking with me. Just listening. Cool. Cool. Howdy. Lick my sins. Hey, I just saw you subscribe, actually, just a little while ago, man. Thanks for uh, your... Sub uh, not subscribe, but follow. Follow. There it is. And thanks for joining in, man. So we got that. And then explore. Perfect. want to make sure I'm doing at least as much as possible before I consider ending the stream, so. Cheers. Lurking while playing. Enjoying the stream. Thanks. No, not, not a problem, Lick by Swint, Sins. And thanks for sticking around, uh, Packy. I really appreciate it. That's a Hegemony mission. I'm gonna go to the far one here for... No, that's Hegemony again. Let's go to the Pirates. And we need to do the instrument package, so let's do that right now. If we can get as many of the Galatian Academy, uh, Galatia Academy uh, missions done before the end of the stream, that puts us in a good place to finish the story missions before we have to move on. Because those gates, those gates that we see everywhere, I know you guys have played this game before, but for those who haven't, those gates everywhere, we can open those up and just use those gates to basically teleport ourselves across the system. So, it's, uh, it's a big thing. It's a big thing. Holy shit, that's gonna be a long trek. At least we don't have to worry about too much damage to our ships through the storms, but still. That's negligible damage. That is awesome. The only thing we really have to worry about is, like, fuel. So, the return trip might be a little rough. We might as well do that. Because I've been not doing that. I have to do that more often. But bouncing off storms, man, that's awesome. Oh my 
That is negligible damage, man. That is awesome. Best mod ever. Random class transport. That's not something we really have to worry about. Okay. Here, okay, pirate authorities of Umbra have posted... Okay, let me just... Asteroid belt. Jesus Christ. Okay, is it a big asteroid? It is a big asteroid belt. Jesus Christ. Okay. I don't see a ping. Alright, so we're going to have to take some time here. The other two missions are hegemony, so we don't have to worry about that. Is it in the asteroid belt? Is it located inside an asteroid belt? Yep. We gotta keep going around then. But our. Uh Please tell me this is the only asteroid belt in the uh, system here. It is. There it is. I hope. I have a feeling that's it, though. There it is. Okay, let's do that right now. Yeah, we'll be able to take these guys on. No problem. Shouldn't be too hard. Would be cool to find a mothership too. Then we could finally get an alpha core or something. But whatever. Whatever. Cool stuff. Cool stuff. All right. Wish we had better combat ships, but uh, this is this is kind of where we're at right now. This is kind of where we're at. The Condor class got destroyed. I may just leave that in the middle of nowhere. I don't want to spend more supplies than I have to do shit. That's the last one.
I could actually do without both these guys. Yeah. Oh, and we get that level, motherfucking hell yeah! All right. Huh, getting a lot of good stuff. I'm, I'm appreciating that. Loving it. Loving every second of it. some reason we're getting good relations with pirates I guess can't can't say that that's a bad thing let's get this one done so that we can come back proud when we go back to the Galatia Academy Alright. Pretty good timing, too, because I was going to do for four hours today. Four hours, so. Oh, please tell me somebody's not trying to attack me again. Can't really handle using more of my story points. Oh, yeah! Reduces monthly supply consumption. Yep, yeah, that's exactly what we need. So, recover an instrument package from a probe located inside an asteroid belt, some distance away from the center of the Gamma Arcoman star system. Right, at least there's no timing. There's no uh, timer on this particular mission, so we can take our time. That, that's a hegemony mission. We don't have to worry about that. Oh, never mind. Wrong one. That doesn't matter, though. That's only by one. Good ones. Nope. None. All right. All right. Your fleet approaches the probe. Finding it exactly where the Academician Sebastian's mission specs told you it would be. What is odd, however, are the derelict ships and debris fields surrounding the probe's position. This is the same as before. Whatever. Sensor sweeps confirm that derelicts are indeed derelict, and they are recent. Okay, this is kind of the same as before. Yeah, this is the same as before. I read this one already. Some of these kind of repeat themselves, it looks like. All right. Let's not waste time, let's go straight to Galatia. And we have the reduced, um, what is it called, uh, supplies, so we don't have to worry about that shit. I want to see what that thing is on the screen. The blip. We'll leave that. Let's go to the Galicia Academy. Okay, we have more than enough gas to get there. this a little bit. There we go. This is actually pretty convenient when this happens. It never happens for me, though. It's always the other way around. I have to fight against it.
Perfect. Perfect. We're gonna make there in due time. Still half a month, but still. Nope, nope, nope. Don't stop it. Stop. Fucking stop. Alright, now. Okay, we'll just jump into this thing then. We're almost there. Almost there, guys. Almost there. Yeah, not a Chinese spy. But, Dad, I need to go pee. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for the first time chat. Not a Chinese dad. Er, not a Chinese spy. Yeah. Actually, we're almost there. We're almost there. We're there. We're there, son. We're there. Please stop. Phew, I was about to water the grass aside the, beside the highway. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's turn in these missions. Calmly explain the yeah, concept of hazard bonus. Get some more money. A hundred thousand five yeah. Get that one as well. You have no idea how worried the Astrometrix was on this. Um, he considers a moment. A transparametric integrator. Uh, that's what it was. They'll be absolutely delighted when I let them know you found it. Yeah, thank you. Alright. There's some VIP transport. Let's take these missions. System scan. Taking all the missions, man. Do this one quickly. Um, have you seen the post going on about Java 23 being able to run on RC 11? No, not yet. But I'm pretty excited about it. Now that you mention it, of course. Let's go to uh, Sindar to get some more gas and shit. So we'll do that first, and then we'll do some more missions. But actually, yeah. First, actually, do we have enough gas to do the one? Let's deliver the VIP. And save, because we don't do that enough. Gotta remember that when I do start modding this, I have to modify the VRAM and all that crap. Jesus. High maintenance game. Get the Sphinx. There we go. I switched to Java 8. Uh, when I did my last run. It definitely helped. Hmm, I'm probably gonna have to consider doing that pretty soon. Because I've gotten some issues, technically. With the, uh, yeah. Relationship with the Independence. Ship with Elvis Sebastian. Proved by 7. Currently 95. 
That's great. We might actually have enough uh, reputation to uh, continue on with this uh, story mission. Let's try and get these done before I, I end the stream. Also, properly upped my VRAM and my game didn't crash every 30 minutes with, from memory leaks. I think my game only recently crashed... And that was me after me increasing the VRAM myself. I don't think... I think it just recently crashed. But it doesn't really crash that often. Me too. You should actually see... Oh, my previous playthrough, I, because I still have it saved. This is my previous uh, mod list. So, yeah, yeah give that a look-see. And compare and see if we, uh... Yeah. Compare and see if that it's as crazy as... If yours is as crazy as mine. I added a lot. Like, a lot to my next Saralyn playthrough. It was fucking insane. Gonna go get some gas and some, uh... Supplies. Around the same amount that I got. Okay, so it's not completely insane. What the hell? You take a shuttle down to visit the dockside bar. You enter the bar, leaving the noisome propaganda broadcast of thoroughly of the thoroughway behind. Off-duty laborers drink away their ration credits dutifully at benches set beneath Diktat Insignia. In one corner, a cadre of finely dressed officer bureaucrats calls for another round. Even here, a larger-than-life hollow of the Lion of Sindra looks down on you as you decide what to do. As you start to take in the clientele, the lights flicker. The sundry hollows and screens fuzz and go blank as EM Interface scrambles their inputs. With a series of bangs, troopers in light combat frames burst through every entrance, shouting amplified orders, waving vicious little guns. Random insect raid. You know enough to appear calm and keep your hands away from your sidearm. Each patron is, uh, patron is scanned and in turn, their fate is revealed by a subtle movement of the lead insect officer, signaling whether they are to be left alone or arrested. Most are spared. One, follow, one group of spacers appears to believe they have something to hide. As the officer approaches, they break into action. One manages to half-draw a concealed weapon, but is hit with a crack of electro-stun restraint foam around. The convulsing body crashes through a table, sending pieces of broken glass up in glittered paraboli. The rest of the party are restrained and beaten. The drumming of the clum, uh, clubs of on flesh eventually overtaken the cries of the pain and outrage. Outside, outsiders look in horror. The staff and locals have a glazed, unfocused expression. It is safest to see nothing. But I'm going to watch anyway. The Diktat internal security officer walks slowly on a tangent to you. Examining each of your bodyguards from their feet to their weapons before shifting his gaze to you. You stare for a moment into dark eyes. Just going to comply here. Thank you for your service, sir. He responds with an auto with the automatic phrase, the movement is its own reward. If not with warmth, then at least with at least the comfort that his internal IFF has slotted you as a non-hostile category. The insect officer gives a small nod to the guards, then moves on with arbitrary authority to the next spacer captain, who is given a similar treatment. Apparently this means you're free to go. There will be no more business to be done at this bar for the rest of the shift. Even the corridors outside are strangely quiet, the populace recognizing the tell of the crackdown. Okay, that was a little scary, but story mission.
Yeah, the Sindarian Diktat is pretty scary, man. Basically 1984 in space. Goddamn. All right, uh, actually we should see if about buying ships. We lost a couple. God damn it, dude. I'm not gonna buy that because that's too much, but God damn it, dude. But we can get a couple of these. And that Sunder. The Atlases are tempting too. Let's get the Atlases. Yeah. One more Atlas. Just got a feeling we're going to need that. Oh, never mind. They're demodded to shit, but that just makes them affordable. Gonna just, yeah, for now. Safety overrides, motherfucker. Gotta do the thing that we did before. What these guys have. We're gonna solar shield it, yep. There we go. Perfect. Awesome. It's something like 50-ish mods, I think. Yeah. Not a uh, Chinese spy. That's, uh... That's kind of what I have here. What Kind of what I have as well. Let's see if we can't get these missions done and then get to the actual arc of the Galatia... Uh... Galatia Academy. Let's do the nearest one. Let's see if we can't get that started. Because a hundred, I think, is what you need before you... Yeah, before you can get the... Oh yeah, we're gonna get a lot of positive relations because we're gonna buy a lot of fuel from these guys. We already have.
gonna go to the Galatian Academy. See if we can't, uh... Once we get to 100, it should be fine. Let's see if that'll work. And if it doesn't, well, we could just... Do more next stream. We'll, we'll do it the normal way. I'm not gonna waste story points here. save before we forget. Alright, and let's get going. Let's get going. I think there's pirates here. Fucking pirates. Nope. Still pretty good with gas. We may need to get a second Prometheus, though. Ah, <sighs> to disengage. Okay. Oh, what is this? A servant of Moloch before me. Says the path are in a sing-song cadence. Repent. Repent and eject this demonic technological horror you carry to do evil in far in the stars. Yes. We know what you have, and we will destroy it, either in your cargo hold, or in holy vacuum. Choose. Now. Goddamn psychos. I know, right? Yeah, I'm not gonna risk it. Let's get let's get moving. I'm it's again it's iron. If I if I get shot down in space, we lose. So Alright. Cause I did select the iron option, so we're not uh, we're not fucking around with people that could shoot us out of the sky. It'll be something we won't have to worry about eventually, but for right now, we gotta be careful. Mm, come on. Please let us, uh... Oops. Right, they're not on the planet, they're just in the academy. Sounds like they have a nice place. Yeah, those two pirate ships and the Luds can be nasty. Yeah, the first two pirate ships and the Luds can be nasty. Yeah, exactly. They can shred a cruiser really fast. Okay. Welcome back, Captain. It's good to see you. Um, okay. Okay. It's like, as long as you're gonna die, but start from little ship or whatever. Yeah, that's true. Like, I mean, you just start it from the beginning. You start with, like, a small ship, and you start, like, right from the beginning. But still, you know, it's better not to have to be reduced to rubble, you know? Okay. So, mm, all right. We'd still get more stuff, but... Are they gonna... I, I can't remember when the story missions start. But we'll have more to do, actually, next time. Alright. Let's just deliver the VIP. Let's see. For sure, sir. More RP. More interesting. Exactly, man. Exactly. I'm glad you guys like it. I like reading the... I'm not the best at reading out loud, but it's still fun for me. And it's fun to actually go through the story, like, verbally. It's, it, it's really cool. Like, they do a lot of work for the story, and it's... Something that a lot of Star Sector players, especially veteran Star Sector players, kind of take for granted. In my opinion, in my opinion. Like, there's some... But there's some really cool stories here, man. And the Star Sector is kind of... They've added a lot of, like, life to the sector. Give me a break. Why does everybody want a piece of me, man? Shit. All right, 
Alright, he's not chasing me, so that's good. Hopefully he won't cut me off. Probably important, uh... Important to the IP. Okay, maybe independence has to be 100 too. Oh, okay. Um, let's see if we can buy any really notable ships here. Buy another Prometheus, I guess. I mean, yeah, why not? We, we can always use more gas. Perfect. Hi there, browsing streams right now, starting my own playthrough. I forgot how much tweaking and troubleshooting you have to do for your average Star Sector game. Yeah. Blazing Lord Soul, it is actually really bad. Especially if you try to mod it. Try to mod your game, it can be just awful. Let's do the ransom mission, just in case. Because the more we do now, the less we have to worry about later. Lots of fuel. We got lots of fuel. Lots of space for fuel. That's the most important thing. Is that guy gonna attack me again? Nope. Doesn't look like it. Who was trying to attack me there? Also, the subset of Star Sector fan base do you belong to? The anime weebs, furries, space lovers, 4X, grand strategy lover, or war nerd? Uh. These. The last and the second to last. Actually, the last, um. The last two options there. That's pretty much the biggest nerd. The. Yeah. Biggest category. Oh, you forgot to go to task manager details and set the Java client to high priority. It helps as much as setting this VRAM. I'm gonna. Ha hmm. I'm gonna have to remember that broken because I am. These are kind of tech things I really should keep in mind when I play this game. Ooh, a fellow war nerd. Pretty much. Yep. There's only war. And I'm Warhammer 40k, so I'm super into war. I forgot. Genocidal Maniac. That's just war, but more specific. Just saying. Not a Chinese spy. Just, just saying. Ask about a certain prisoner associated with Galicia Academy. Ah, uh, first I'm going to assure you that... Oh, okay. This is a new script, okay. Ah, you're from the Academy. Or, not quite? They hired you. Is that right? She gives you a glance. It is. First, I would like to assure you that the individual on whose behalf you are petitioning the Knights has been treated well, though considering their crimes, has been confined to a guest dormitory and had technological privileges... Limited. The knight flips a page in some kind of real paper notebook, reading, I see here that this academic academician was caught with a number of devices. Research equipment, they say. These devices have been destroyed. She looks up to see how you react, then nods to herself. We understand the need for stable relations between our respective institutions, she says. And the Mother Church has emphasized this point very precisely to our order. Excubitor Orbis Oak has agreed to waive the usual procedures in place of generous donation to the Church. I trust you have brought the Academy Silver? She gives just a hint of a wry smile. The knight claps her notebook shut, which concludes, which concludes our business, she says, and pauses as if considering her words. I pray for you, Captain. 
and please prevail upon the Academy to be more considerate. Providence guides you. You dispatch a shuttle to pick up the released Academician. Once on board, they appear in good health, and once away from the brooding Knights of Lud, complain bitterly about lost data. Those fanatics smashed my new tripod. Simply barbaric. And it can't be my imagination, but I suspect that they hardly bathe down there. <laughs> you nod politely and motion for your security chief to escort the Academician to their quarters so that you can avoid them on the long trip back the Galatia Academy. For some reason... Uh, I thought I was further down the spectrum, and the NCD made me discover I was moderate on that scale. Yeah, I think we're in for, cut from the same cloth there, blazing. Um... Although I am very much on the spectrum. But it's more noticeable if you knew me in person. And I finally figured out why my mod manager wasn't working. For some reason, I need to run it as an admin. Moderate by NCT standards is like saying you're moderate degen by 4, 4chan standards. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's fucking true though. Anyway. How many hours on Paradox Games, specifically? I know I know what those, uh, what that's supposed to be, what that's an acronym for, but I can't remember exactly what that is. HIF4... Paradox games. All I'm saying is give war a chance. Please do give war a chance. It's an underrated concept. You know? War. People just think about the bad parts. What about the good parts? And there are good parts, you just have to think about it. <clears throat> anyway. Good stuff, good stuff. Give me a second here. Sorry guys, something weird is going on. Okay, good, good, good. Did you see Hearts of Iron 4? Because honestly... I'm, uh... I, I think I should play that game. I think I actually might have it. Parts of Iron 4, yeah. We're gonna have to wait on that. AKA, the World War II game. I should play that, man. I should really play that. Fourteen hundred eighteen. Okay. See, normal people just get addicted to civilization. Pfft. Civilization's for basic bitches, man. I'm not gonna lie. I know where to go. First, I gotta go over to. Uh, where is it? Over here. Sell some AI cores that I don't need. Go get some gas to do the thing. Ooh, okay, we're 
bin da. Go to Kulon. So we can really take advantage of some of the game's uh, lore about how some people like AI more than others. We special people play as Germany in uh, Heart of Iron 4 and look to download a gen genocide mod. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, the worst part of it is we're not, uh, we're not unlike that. And there's no deeper meaning behind it, I promise. I mean, come on. Come on. It's only fiction. In the current Star Sector canon, I would see why people would get tired of war. I mean... Honestly, I think the hegemony should be the kind of faction that should be tired of waging war. But they're always in control, so they have the privilege of actually just saying, I'm tired of war. Seriously, they'll fuck the hegemony. I'm always- everybody's always fighting the hegemony. It's kind of a rite of passage for, like, Star Sector players. To f hate the hegemony and then just kind of shoot them out of the sky and never come back. Their politicians are corrupt and owned by the space industrial complex. Yeah, pretty much. Some in real- yeah, in real life people we know. <laughs> yeah. here first. I mean, yeah. I'm actually a little afraid of people that think that war is a great thing, though. Like, actual war. Though I understand why it happens and why, you know... Well, the word necessary is overstating it, but... Ugh. But in video games and gaming and all that shit, it's fun as fuck. Let's not get ourselves. One of the best, um, what is it? One of the best IPs of all time, Warhammer 40k, is based on war. Like, it literally is living and breathing war in a science fantasy set setting. Like, it is super awesome. And it's satirical, too. Mocking the idea as well. Honestly, the population scales and distances... Yeah. As the population scales and distances, I assume we are barely even aware outside of fleet bombing their planet. Not too many active participants compared to the general population. Jesus, dude. Nope. There we go. There we go. Checks up on military industrial complex stocks. <laughs> the dark part is you guys are kind of right. Can't wait to get another level so I can actually get the fuel based uh, salvage skill as well. Because we were running out of fuel pretty fast now. Can't believe I'm befriending the, the pirates this early. This is my relations with the pirates, guys. I don't know how I managed this. I don't know why I even bothered. But it kind of came up that way because... The exploration missions came up pirates. And that's that's where we are right now. That's where we are. Helping pirates. Because why the fuck not? Give piracy a chance, guys. Yeah, piracy. It's like war, except... You know, you don't want them to call it war because it's like a heated topic, and instead of just trying to eliminate the other guy, you're just trying to take their stuff. Likely by eliminating them, but at least it's purposeful. Let's go over here.
There you go. Any other Warhammer 40k fans in the audience? Please tell me I'm not the only one right here right now that likes Warhammer 40k. If not, I understand. I mean, it's okay to have bad taste and be wrong about things. I guess I am the only one. I think anyone who likes space or sci-fi likes 40k. I've actually run into people that don't even know about 40k, which is kind of reasonable. It's not like super mainstream yet. It's popular, but it's not mainstream. It's one of those weird ones that are just right in between. So if somebody says, what's Warhammer 40k? It just means I have the fun of explaining it to them. I want to play more Warhammer 40k games. Like, there's a lot of cool 4X and tactical RPG uh, games. Can't wait for a 40k TV series to come out. Oh yeah, is that the one where, uh, Steve, or what's his name? The Witcher guy? The guy that did, like, played the lead role as the Witcher? Um, is gonna be, like, having a part in? That's awesome. I really hope they don't fuck it up. Yeah, but seriously, the in the real world needs to start investing in their militaries anyways. Globalization is an ending, and the post-war peace de definitely ended it. The U.S., the bulwark, has largely kept the cork on the... Cork on the uncontrolled war bottle for the last few decades is becoming more isolationist and hesitant to intervene. Uh, with all those factors, previously frozen conflicts are now escalating and starting up. And they will escalate into proxy wars again. Alright. Which is... I don't disagree with that, but... I'm gonna ask, please... And I'm only saying this just because I have to. Because it's a channel rule. Just as long as you don't, uh... Okay, you just said it. That's fine. That's fine. Cool. A decent amount of reading of geopolitics art uh, articles today. Yeah, fair enough. I was just gonna say, just don't start, like, taking sides or, like, all that in my chat. Because that's where it kind of crosses a line into politics we don't want to we don't want to kind of stir into conflict so I mean analysis is fine but if you start saying things like this is who I support this is the point where I actually have to kind of put the kibosh on it the outer reaches god damn it because politics is like it's not a yeah that's why I don't like politics, like, everywhere. Like, I typically live my life to avoid it. I know it's kind of a pipe dream when you really think about it. Because politics are every is everywhere, but, uh... I can't bring myself to actually start... Let's just... Yeah, got it. Yeah, don't start to pro... <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Pretty much blazing. Pretty much. Because the worst thing I, uh, I... I'm trying to be politically neutral. Because I just want to be an entertainer in this channel, you know? If I want to... Yeah. Exactly. Like, it's... Yeah. Not even just a little. The, the problem is... If I do start it, it's going to be sort of an analytical thing. Like, specifically analytical. Like, I don't care to ch choose, like specific size or anything like that, because that's where things can just get horrible. Plus, I don't really have sides. I'm... I don't mean... Like, when I say neutral, I mean that specifically. I'm really neutral about so many topics. And I don't like bringing up even the ones that I'm not neutral about, because I just want to talk about the most recent, uh... I have no idea what that is. Who's Perrin? God damn it. I mean, plus, when you really dig, eventually you realize there are no sides. Just the little guy and his overlords. I mean, pretty much. As much as we want to think that politics is more serious, like, real-world politics is more serious than a 4X game. No, it's just really a 4X game. And people are just playing different sides. 
It, it really, that's where, the way I see it. It's kind of reductive, or at least people would say that's kind of reductive, but I don't give a shit. Ooh, a hammerhead. Oh no, I'm not going to spend a story point on that. I'll just leave it. Speaking of potentially getting banned, I wish I kind—I kind of wish 40k would do what Star Wars did with their cannon. And in what they should cut out, in that they should cut out a lot of material and make it more coherent cannon they could use for more media. That actually might be a good good idea. I just haven't heard. I haven't had time to watch it. I love Peyron, though. I have no idea who Peyron is. Outskirts. See previous comment. Yeah, fair enough. A war nerd who makes hour-long uh, sideshows about war things. Eh... All right, I'll take your word for it, but goddamn. War is fun to analyze, though. I won't lie, but... When people start... When you start seeing that there are sides to it, that's when it stops being fun. Outskirts my ass. I hate it when they... I hate it when I have a mission like this. It wastes my supplies, it wastes my time. Jesus Christ. That might be it. Please be it. Pyramid is in real life a defense economics analyst that posts in-depth, hour-long PowerPoint uh, slides on YouTube. If you're into war and everything that affects it, this war is a very interesting to watch. Hmm. Okay. A little mad. Thought I'd find the ship. Nah, we'll, we won't worry about a vigilance. Vigilance are not that great. Huh. I can make these now. Whoa, the bloody path kind. I mean, I may give it a look-see, but I really don't have... Now, the most recent video about lasers is very neat. Like, as a war application, like having military kind of uh, purposes as lasers, because that's... I, I have... might have an interest in seeing that in particular. No particular reason. Just saying. Hmm. I feel like that's still the province of science fiction, to be honest with you. Okay, how long do I have? 28 days? Okay. Like, I feel like if you wanted to use it as a weapon that cause actual destruction, it would be, uh, almost impossible. We have had ship airplane multiple lasers since the 2000s. Jeez. Real-life lasers. I never thought I'd hear about it. I'll have to look that up, though. At least there are no, uh, storm- or er, space clouds here to block my way. But who am I to say that war is bad? I like 4X games, and I like strategy games. And Warhammer 40k, so... There's also some microwave system in th that the UNS uses right now. That's scary, man. There's always one of these, always one of these missions where I can't find the ship and it wastes my fucking time. At the same time, read enough history and geopolitics and realize that war is just a part of how large groups of humans interact with each other. It's horrible on a small scale, and on, uh, on a large scale, speaking broadly, it catalyzes a change, and it changes a change in everything from technology and power systems. It is, it's 
it's horrible on a human scale, but it most definitely is inevitable and sometimes is necessary to resolve conflicts. Battletech? I mean, that's actually a pretty cool universe too. I'm just not, I never really hooked me like early. Warhammer 40k did early in my life. Instead of actually have a reasonable, like, universe that's based on, like, speaking of, like, reasonable, like, reasons to wage war, nope. I chose the IP that had a ridiculous view on war and politics and xenophobia. Why, yes, Pacific Rim is my favorite movie. How could you tell? <laughs> that's funny. That is a pretty cool movie, I gotta say. That's the one with the giant mechas and the monsters, right? They're called Jaegers. Wonder, wonder that do systems are being made right now to counter swarm drones. Okay, I'm done with uh, trying to find the ship in the system. Let's just go on. I'm just done. That's like, we're gonna find it. Yep, we failed it. Which is like these are wise, I always turn on max sensor range with command prompt. Might want to actually consider that for the future. Yeah, because I hate, like, find the ship missions like this. It's really, like, it's not fun. And I get you can't always have things under your control. Like, you can't always have, like, an easy ship to find near a heart, the heart of the system or near a planet or something, but it's still... It's still really, really not fun when that happens. But I barely lost any supplies searching for it, so that's that's fine. It's not like I'm burning gas while I'm going through the system as well, so. I hard, I hard disagree. War is a remnant of our animalistic nature. People tend to distance themselves for animals, from animals, but the truth is we're still very much tied to our baser instinct functions. I don't disagree, ba uh, Broken Helix. I really don't. Even as a guy on the spectrum who is kind of removed from a lot of that, even I'm kind of caught in that little... Well, I mean, I have a human brain. I'm My baser instincts are built right in. It's not something anybody can avoid. Oh, there it is. Why did I miss that? Because, like, being neurodivergent really kind of puts me on the outside of, like, a lot of typical human... Well, what I would call typical human behavior. But... I still engage in a lot... Well, social... Like, being social. Because human beings are a social species. And war is basically... A very drawn out expression of human conflict. We're always going to want to. There's always going to be a conflict in human humans because that's just part of our nature. And people that say that war should never happen, I think, are being deplorably naive. War is going to happen Con as long as there's conflict. There's always going to be war. And there is no way for us to actually kind of remove ourselves from that. Scan the surface for the Galatia Academy Research Outpost. Your comms officer transmit a... Uh, this is not a, another AI thing, is it? Oh, okay. Yeah. It's another AI thing. This is a bad problem with the Galatia Academy. Like, what the fuck? I mean, even when I hear the uh, the idea of Warhammer 40k, in the grim dark future there is only war, technically there's enough war that we can say there's only war now. But I'm a Westerner, so... and a Canadian. 
So, the idea of being constantly in, like, the in the middle of what could be hostility and, and war and whatnot is kind of foreign to me. I have no experience with that. I'm gonna have to look it up. Yeah, yeah, awesome. My man. No, shit! I swear this, I never let this happen. That's the first time I've been pull, pulled into a uh, black hole. Uh oh, yeah. That really just took a chunk out of my supplies, actually. And really hurt my ships, but that's not, yeah. I was in the U.S. military and have some experience with war, although not at the scale it is now. Yeah. Damn, dude. Actually, th you know one thing I really wish I did? I wish I served in the Canadian military, to be honest with you. What the fuck is that? Dormant and in the middle of space. Why the fuck are they out here? Oh, I don't like that. Oh, I don't like that at all. That's a remnant fleet. I don't like that. The big suck, suck too devious. <laughs> No, the most, the closest I've actually gone to being, they are dormant, you are good. I am glad, because that is good. Let's go over here. I mean, these are interesting topics that's, oh god, no, 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 this is none of your business. I know why you're doing this, and this is none of your business. Go the fuck away. Like, I like these topics, and I like to cut discussing it. I just... The only thing is, I am really quite a stickler about keeping politics out of my streams and out of my life. For the most part. I'm in a place right now where, if I get involved in politics, my life just goes to shit. So... Maybe if I am more established in what I do with my life. It might be something I might be chasing a little bit more enthusiastically, but right now, no sides, neutrality, just, you know, video games and happiness, and keeping myself healthy. Because I will not lie, after COVID, I really didn't see much of a point in choosing sides in politics. I'm pretty goddamn neutral when it comes to things like this. Again, I know it's naive, but... Fuck me, man. Oh, shit. The pirate fleet maneuvers to prevent you from disengaging easily. It's aware of your identity due to your fleet's transponder being turned on. Eh, very good, Captain. Good work finding the target. We all admire your cleverness. He turns over his shoulder to address his crew. Don't we? Don't we? Yavak hugs. You hear quietly the pirate bridge crew giving a round of "ay" amid hooting and uh, applause. The pirate leader turns back to display. Now if you don't mind, we'll be taking a copy of that data from you. To the rich man who's been paying us. Transmit now. If you be so kind. What do we do? Or we do what we came... Uh, uh, or do we got to come over there and cut the memory core from that fancy flagship you're flying? Uh, decline. I'm taking a chance here. Oh shit. That was really, really... Politics has gotten extremely nasty over the past 15 years or so. It's not remotely the same. Might as well be called war in and of itself. Yeah, and I agree with you there. Alright, these are pirates, but... This may not go well. Because some of those pirates is honestly impressive. I mean, they're pirates, man. It's really, really kind of weird how off... Uh, like... How much they think they can just take. 
Ugh. Yeah, and I agree with you there, Broken Helix. It's gone so messy that, uh... Like... I, I don't know. I, I don't want to talk about that in particular. Just because... It's... Alright. It, bit of truth to it. As a guy who's on the spectrum, he's... I've been facing... Like, i faced a lot of, uh... I don't want to call it discrimination, but let's just say... I've been treated differently because of my, uh... A neurodivergence, so... I feel like it's not really in my place to actually start... Making... Waves in terms of political views. I just need to, like, find a way to survive. And there are a lot of people out there that have very, very low opinions of autistic people. So... I'm just... Yeah. As a person with a lot of experience dealing with people on the spectrum, don't use your disorder as an excuse to remove yourself from the sensations and currents of neurotypical thoughts and discourse. It might be overwhelming, but honestly, it makes life worth living. Don't let your disorder isolate you from people more than already does. Well, no kidding. I mean, thank you, Blazing. I, you're, you're right. You're right. There is no reason for me to actually... Um... Separate myself from the world around me. But... That being said... Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Because I made a mistake. I chanced it, it was wrong. The thing is, Blazing... It, it's... Ah... Technically, I just exit and just go back. Well... This was fun. We may escape with, like, most of our ships. Oh, god damn. My old TV keeps tricking games. As an autism is limiting pattern of thought to have. And you're right. It's not really the... That's not really inherently the problem. The problem is the discrimination. Because I am... Enough on the spectrum... That, uh, it's noticeable. And people... Kinda... Especially since I've worked in a lot of office environments. It's made my life a little difficult. To say the least. But... Yeah, I really fucked this up. Really fucked this up. And I, I lost my, uh, what's it called, uh... Uh, what's it, uh, my, uh, apogee. It's not a big deal. Like, our big tankers are the big most important. I'd argue it's the best not to even let it define your identity in any significant way. I didn't. For a long time. It is not taught about the subject until m much, unless somebody close to them has it, sadly. Yeah. Well, that's pretty sad. Okay. No worries, still got some ships and money and character levels. It helps a lot. Yep, mostly it is. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta fuck off. Ah, oh, that sucks. We gotta, oh boy. We're gonna jettison some people into space. That's always fun. Because you have questions about why you're able to do it and not suffer any ramifications. But, on the other side, we still have our capital ships and tankers, so it's not a big deal. I, uh, got a little overconfident is all. So, bye guys. Uh, good luck. You see, alright. So, you know what? Let's just leave it at that then in terms of my neurodivergence, because you're not wrong. The big thing is, I'm trying to... Let's just say... I'm still trying to get to the point of my life where it isn't significant enough that it... puts a barrier between me and other people. But it's been used against me. And people that I've told about it have used it against me. I'm just one of those unlucky folk that, uh... 
constantly finds himself surrounded by, and this is not even has to do with my neurodivergence, just surrounded by toxic people that, um, well, think anything is funny. And I've uh, lost a fair number of friendships because of that shit, so. I'm trying to, I'm trying to cope as much as I can. Like, and not let it become a me versus them situation. So. But then, one of the big things is COVID was kind of an eye-opener for me. When I saw how people dealt with, like, how COVID happened and things like that. And I'm, uh, yeah, makeshift generator. Cool. And okay, but blazing, that's just it. I just. Like, I mean, I'm pretty good at masking, but that's part of the problem. Masking burns people on the spectrum out. And we don't fucking like to do that shit. I, I'm not trying to be angry or anything like that, but I'm just telling you exactly what we feel about that shit. We do not like to do that shit. We just want to be accepted, man. It burns us out, and it actually, for some of us, it actually kills us. Like, um, uh, like psychologically speaking. So, that's... It's something I just don't like to fucking do. Like, and I've had a lot of... I'm a very, very social sort of autistic person that realized this, and it's caused a lot of damage in my life, just trying to act against myself, essentially. So that's that's the big thing. That's the big thing. Autistic people have to be able to just be themselves. They have to be able to stim in public. They have to be able to just be themselves. And that's the big part. That's the big problem. And just saying, oh, I'm just quirky, really kind of just, like, I'm basically slapping a mask on myself and, uh, trying to, uh, like, cope, essentially. When, what the fuck? Well, you guys are going to be killed out of, yeah, you guys are going to be shot out of the sky. We have enough to actually destroy you. you know, work on your theory of mind and avoid toxic assholes. I mean, that is good advice. Oh, this is, yeah, this is the part where, okay, I think I know this is, this is about the story mission. The comms channel buzzes and crackles to reveal the path or commander. He is not quite what you expected. It is not burning zeal you see in their eyes, but something else. Captain, by the stars, I come to you on the path of peace. His voice rasps with what you recognize as vacuum damage. Beware yon spore of Moloch. Some evil science is at work here, in that probe. It has unleashed power beyond, beyond all reckoning. It took many of my fellow walkers, spilled their life into the holy void. I warn you now, leave this cursed place. Thank them for the warning and close comps. The Ludic Path the fleet maintains its distance keeping ready to disengage in the event of hostilities. You don't really have a choice, dude. Alright, there we go. I don't know. I'm mildly on a spectrum myself. I am able to mask well enough in most situations. I'm a bit of an outlier, though. I've spent eight months straight solo backpacking Asia and staying in hostels every night. Never really had any issues autism-wise. It's a little different with me. I, uh, he gets into complications there. I mean, I'm sorry if it sounded heated what I said. It's just, when people learn I'm on a spectrum or they kind of know about, like, my background, because it was, like, I mean, it's, me being on the spectrum is not so much a struggle right now, but it was when I was younger, and it was hell. And when people know about that background, they assume, well, you know some of the discrimination that uh, people on the spectrum face. They don't call them people on the spectrum or even autistic people. They call them the R word. And that's the assumption people make about me. 
it's a wrong assumption and often they get what is it often they pay for it like because yeah okay i'm not going to get into too many specifics about my life but apparently i am i had my iq tested and yeah mensa material without even knowing it myself to be honest with you this shows with my interactions with people but unfortunately yeah yeah, it ends up with me turning a person that thinks I'm a joke to a person who thinks now that I have to be their enemy because I fight back. And it's complicated because of that. It, it's complicated before that and it gets complicated after because people, just the simple thing people have to do is be accepting. It's not hard. Autism has been researched for... Yeah, research for a long time. And people still have this ignorant, almost backwards view of viewing people with neurodivergence as, well, different. And that's the best, that at best, different. And that's, it, it gets really heavy. I've grown so far beyond it at this point that I've kind of come to expect people to be awful, but now I've come to the point in my life where I have to just start fighting back. Not fighting back like literally like physical hostility and what what have you. But what ends up happening is I start defending myself verbally. I start um, resisting when people start conforming to the idea that I am basically beneath them. At worst, of course. And then, well, their distaste of me or my their ridicule turns into just flat out hate. Because apparently when I act like a person that wants to be treated well, I'm stepping out of line and it gets really complicated. It's not something that has been a huge detriment to my life because I've learned to actually skillfully do this without causing like undue damage to my life and my, and my, uh, uh, and whatnot. But at some point during COVID, uh, it got, got really difficult because at some point they decided that I shouldn't work for them. Well, I lost my job essentially. And yeah. And suddenly all the skills I learned as a neurodivergent person to survive in the neurotypical world meant nothing because I was isolated because of a, you know, a plague. Well, not a plague, but a virus. Reports come in from your bridge crew. Sensors, tactical, and ops. The small fleet seems to have been torn apart by highly energetic discharge. Weapons? No, right. We've, we've done this before. We've done this before. Yep. The plague. Sorry, it's just the language I used for it because it felt like it was just very dangerous. I mean, it pretty much was dangerous enough to be considered something like that. We have enough gas. I've had to fight back as well, though not nearly as bad as you. Yeah, it's like being on the spectrum had a huge effect on me when I was young. A huge effect to the point where I started believing things about myself that people were kind of claiming about me. And I've later learned that it was just kind of the way my mind worked. Um... It's... Long short of it is, actually, what happened was my parents found out that I was diagnosed with autism and they kept it from me until I turned 18. There it is. That's it. That's basically it. I was left without essential knowledge about my character and myself. No, oh, it's environment. It's... Thing is, I'm pretty good with language and I'm very social. So it works. It worked for me, but unfortunately... Man, it killed me when people started figuring out my background. But, yeah. This, uh... I wasn't aware that I was even on the spectrum and why I was different from everybody else until I was told at 18 that I was on the spectrum. And, uh... 
that led to a whole different de- number of th- things about my life that I had to reorder and re... Yeah, that's not good, man. Yeah, it isn't. But... It, uh... It's not something I actually hate myself for. I mean, you can't hate yourself for being yourself. No matter who you are. Another one of these. It'll just give him some fuel and then get 4,500 bucks. But yeah. So, like, I mean, before when you said it's like, try not to make it a part of your identity, it's... I've done that before and it doesn't work. It just pushes you, you push yourself away from yourself. And it just doesn't work. You end up hating a part of you that really is just a part of you, so... Please, please, just when you say some distance away, please tell me you're just like, like, some place I can easily find you. There we go. Uh, for me, it takes a while for people to figure it out. Truth be told, most people only see me as somewhat weird unless they have knowledge of my autism, psychology knowledge. Which, yeah, I mean, that's fair. For the most part, I'm pretty, I've gotten so good at masking that people just kind of when I tell them that I'm on the spectrum, they kind of get a little shocked. I don't really like it when that happens, but they get shocked. Until they see kind of some of my behaviors that I can't hold back. Like my stimming behaviors, for example. Then it becomes very clear. But of course. Like, there are a lot of accepting people in my life that actually kind of... I'm glad to have in my life. And it's not like I'm incapable of making new friends or anything like that, but it's... Recent uh, events have caused my life to be a little more difficult than it should have been. Mostly because I pissed the wrong people off, but, you know, whatever. Well, I really got heavy with you guys. I'm really sorry. Just so sorry. Let's let's get back to the game. Which I said I was actually gonna stop playing half an hour ago, but now I'm actually just having fun. I promise this is not something I talk about very often. Let alone on stream very often. Please tell me that's it. Please tell me that's it. Or an hour ago. I'm not sure which. Oh, thank fuck. Okay. Okay, there we go. Actually... That's a jungle world, isn't it? Let's see if it's a worthwhile jungle world. Uh, the thing they never tell you about autism. Perfect. All right. I forgot to check the world itself. Oh, it's it's okay. It's okay. The thing they never tell you about autism is how fucking difficult it, it is it, how difficult to get one with autism. Job hunting, job locations, job interviews are hell on earth. Yeah, tell me about it. Tell me about it, man. Tell me. It, I mean, job hunting in itself is actually pretty bad. I at least have a bunch of skills that I can use to actually just get like even like a basic job that I could use to survive if I need it. Like. Pretty good in sales and shit like that, and, uh, you know, you can always hire me to talk over the phone, but... The trick is to get jobs that aren't garbage that will burn you out after, like, working at them for, like, however long.
All right, all right. Um, all right. Especially in Canada, we brought in the same amount of money. Okay. Position as well. I love my scuba diving hobby. Good job, man. And did, yeah, not a not a Chinese spy. I, I mean, facts are facts, of course. But as long as you don't make like wide sweeping generalized statements, I don't mind that you talk about like uh like Canadian immigration. I just don't want to. Uh, you know, you, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Oh, I live in Vancouver, it's particularly New Punjab here right now. Okay, um, there we go. Alright, 162 thousand. Jesus Christ. Cooperative. And hazard bonus. There we go. And money. Oh, oh yeah, I get you. The job market right now is rough. Shitty airport jobs have like three hundred applicants. Jesus Christ! Doesn't feel me. Doesn't that doesn't feel me with uh, Okay. I do wonder what the end goal of the Western push for mass immigration is. Okay. Okay. Broken. 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 Yeah. I, 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 sorry, I, I know you guys are excited about this topic or anything like that, but we're waiting until territory I kind of want to keep off my channel. So, like, uh, the moment you start saying things about the Western push for mass immigration, that sort of thing, I kind of get you, get you to just hold back on that talk a little bit, okay, man? Because I'm just, I like you, man, but don't, please. Listen. I worked in security during COVID. I worked a lot of sh with, with a lot of shitbags who would break rules when dealing with others because they were both... <sighs> Alright. We just were absolute shit. Alright, and Blazing, gotta have to say the same thing, man. Like, the moment you guys start saying very specific things like that, gotta put a handle on that. I gotta put down the... put my foot down on that. I get it, guys. You're very passionate about things like this, and it is not a topic I don't want to, to like. I, I don't necessarily want to smush the topic, but it's political talk that gets kind of straying into that sort of territory. Kind of want to... Yeah. It's, yeah. What's my old job? I miss the job I had as a landscaper. That's one of the jobs I really miss. I don't know why. I just think I like the outdoors more than I thought I did. Alright, so we did a lot of job... Er... Did a lot of, uh, work for the Galatia... Uh, what is it? Galatia, um... Academy? And it is... Actually pretty good. We made a lot of money. We're pretty far ahead. We need to get more ships, but... That'll come with time. We we made a mistake. We made a mistake. That's that's the only thing we could say here. Here. One of the stories I could tell could make Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. That I mean, you pretty much said it right there. Like the the things like that. I mean I get these are stories from your life and facts are facts, but my channel is also my channel, sort of thing. So gotta Yeah. And it's it's not like this shit's not interesting. It's just, it's one of those things where if I don't bring it up and encourage it myself, I don't want to see, necessarily see it kind of encouraged, like on its own sort of thing. Anyway, this has actually been a pretty good stream, guys. Pretty good stream. And I'm really, guys, I'm really happy you guys, like, regardless, I'm really happy you guys kind of jumped in and actually started a discussion and, uh, Watch me play Star Sector, like regular vanilla Star Sector. I didn't know how much interest there would be for this. So, pretty happy about a lot of people jumping in and watch me do this. But, since it's that time, it was supposed to be that time a while ago. I could never save enough. We're gonna just end things right here.